Welcome back to the 1010s Podcast with Michael and Adam and Robbie. We're back this week from PRI, and we have some exciting news. Ooh, Did you realize that we had a news release at PRI? Like, very yeah. professional? Yeah. It's very professional. Yeah. yeah. Like all the other companies that were there? Yeah, yeah we were, we're just like everybody else. Podcast shows we, up. We, we do saved an it. We debuted an announcement. We didn't really choose when. It just it was, it was because it, of a partnership. Somebody, yeah, it was yeah, because yeah. of a... Yeah, that's fair. Yeah. We could have said no. We didn't. We could have said wait. Yeah, he did ask, I suppose. Yeah. John asked. Yeah. So. Yeah. It's just professionalism, kinda, you know? Like where people think we are and where we actually are is right. what I'm saying. Yeah. It but looks, let's not, let's not say, let's not draw too much attention too much? to that. Yeah. It's a super professional podcast. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, so we will be at SCCA National Convention 2019 in January, January yeah. 17th through 19th. In Vegas? In Vegas. Going to in Vegas, Las- baby. <laughs> I've never been to Vegas. I've never been to Vegas. None either. of us have been to Vegas. So we're gonna have like the the lamest. We're Vegas gonna have the greatest no, first Vegas. It's gonna be like my spring break. It's gonna trip be great. To Florida. He's gonna wear an Adam Ars Piguet. I'm taking him to oh, watch his what? Switzerland. A Royal Oak. What do you say talk? that again? Adam R. P. Gay. The fuck is that? It's got, a, it's got your name in it. Adam. Is that a watch? Yeah, yeah it's a watch. Oh. They're about twenty grand. A Royal Oak. Where are we, just, get, where just are we getting this? Only. We're going to go to watches in Switzerland. It's going to be great. I bet you that they won't let me wear that watch. No, we can go in. They don't know. Here, they'll, they'll take one look at me and they'll be like, "No, no. we can get." This, it's does this not kid a problem. even have a total a asset list worth this? What? Watch. What? I'll go in. I'll ask to see it, and then while you're standing there, I'll hand it to you, and you can try it on. Yeah. You'll look fancy. They'll 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 be like yeah, this guy. yeah he'll be suited and booted. I'm, I might be sports coats and suits all weekend. Who knows? My fire that truck re- sport coat. That reminds me of a for foreshadowing for next week. I have you. The, I bought you the perfect gift. Oh God! We for, are doing for this. I have it's I a, have, it's, it's, it's it's the perfect gift for you. I'm oddly excited as about well. Our gift exchange. It's the perfect gift for this event. God. You have to tell me what it is later, because I already have his gift. Oh, I have your gift. You have my gift. Yes, <laughs> your gift's on Amazon. I need to order it. I won yours. Excellent. I won yours in an auction. <laughs> At an auction, <laughs> like on an eBay auction. Yeah. Oh no. I felt like a real winner. Oh okay. no. That sounds like fun to me. Oh, Did you no. buy it be- previously before this? Nope. I hope you bought got, it just now. Yeah. I hope you got you like a smoking jacket or something awesome. I don't worry. It's awesome. It is awesome? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. boy. God, I Might need to reevaluate. Everyone, uh, everyone's going to have to come back next week. Next week's going to be a great show. <laughs> so maybe it's my, party. my gifts aren't going to be as awesome anymore, I'm afraid. Robbie, I think, trumped us all. You don't know that. Robbie's got to play along in order for mine to work, but I'm sure I'll he play. will. He'll play ball. I'm we'll be good. Play along with you guys have to play along with each other so mine will work. No. So, so Robbie, my gift will Robbie work. has to play. Robbie has to, to work the joke in order for it to work. These are but it's Robbie's gift you're talking about. No, it's for you. Oh, okay. That's what I'm... <laughs> I know how to make it work. Don't worry. It'll be fine. It's fine. I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> this is the best I worst Christmas ever. I don't like it. <laughs> uh, take a pass. Anyway. So anyway, we'll be at uh, National Convention. If you will be there, let us know. We can yeah. hang out. We can hang out. Probably. We could go to Watches of Switzerland with Adam. I'm sure there's lots of things to do in Vegas. I couldn't... <laughs> I Couldn't tell you. Never been there. Never been there. I know that the flights are relatively cheap. We're really boring people too. Yep. Vegas is not our scene. Wait, who's nope. boring? Us. We are. Us. Us especially. Yeah, for sure. Me and Robbie. You know what sounds fun to me? What? Sitting at home. Yeah, not a bar. Well, okay. I, I've, I've had my. I probably shouldn't go to any strip. I've had my either. limit of bars. We're not going to go to a strip last week. Then we're not having the Vegas experience. That's what? not true. We're going to go to Caesar's Palace. We need to do that. Oh yeah. We, go we need to go to Watches of Switzerland. That's two places. Is there a UFC go. fight that weekend? It was not on my list of things I needed to do in Vegas. I mean, it is now. But it is, yeah. What? Watches of Switzerland. Well, you're going to have an experience when in, when in Vegas. Is that, is that a phrase? I, is now. I think you can literally say when in Rome. When in Vegas. Because when you're, if you're in the right place in Vegas, you're, you're in, in Rome. Rome. The Coliseum. Don't they have like a Roman-themed one? Yeah. Isn't Caesar's? That's Caesar's Palace. Yeah. yeah. See? I'm perfect. One in Rome, Robbie. Well, yeah. That's It'll right. be fine. Yeah. We're going to go like uh, card counting or something? See if we can get kicked out of a casino? I can't afford to be in I think casinos. we're smart enough. No, we're not. No? No. Damn it. <laughs> no. I'm not, I don't like gambling. I don't really like gambling. No, I'm, I'm too cheap. No, I might spend I'm something weird cheap. about gambling that I really don't I might spend like. like 20 bucks on a slot machine just... Then you guarantee to lose. Yeah. 
But that's every not the time point. I've it's... gone to a casino, I've spent twenty dollars on a slot machine, and my rule is that I go till I'm till I'm at zero or double, and I've never left with forty. So, <laughs> but that's entertainment money. Yeah, you paid for some entertainment. And you move on. I wasn't really that entertained. I don't get it. No, I'm just searching I'm for too, a reason. I'm too stressed. I'm just sitting in my head going, okay, what else could I have done with yeah, this 20 All the car parts. That's, that's uh, entrance fees right there. Yeah. Gone. Yeah, I, I had a list on the way home of the last time I was at the casino of all the things I could have bought with all the money I lost. I'm like, well, I could have bought this or I could have bought that. Nope, not doing it anymore. I think the last time I was at a casino was with Robbie. Here? No, we were on back from uh, Michigan. Yeah, we were headed back from from a uh, skate competition in Detroit, and some place was like, win a Viper. Okay. I'll try. So you guys tried it? No. No. <laughs> we just used... We got in there and found out that you had to, like, you had to play something or join a club or some shit, and we were like, well, that's not going to happen, so... Nope. Spent $20 on slots, and we left. So we would have spent our time at the National Convention with our friends. With our friends looking at... Race cars. Uh, Adam R. P. Gay. I Vacheron Constantine. I think I might actually there. buy a Pinewood Derby kit. Oh yeah. Oh yes, yes. They do the Pinewood Derby. They have a Pinewood race. Derby, and so I think I might actually buy a kit and build a car because I think it'd be fun. Sunday there's an autocross that we could potentially a rental go car to. Autocross. Rental car. We could get a rental car and do the autocross. I'm I'm in on that. I guess my plan was just to probably Uber. So I'll yeah. have to figure that out. Fine. Uh, well, I mean from the airport. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. my plan as well. Because if it's I can't not gonna be worth it, the rental cars. How big is Vegas? Like three days, huge. Oh, now yes. Oh, we could take a bus and then I can knock that off. Nah, you know what? what I'm above a bus? a bus. Of course, I've never been in a taxi at all. I'm above a bus. You're above a bus. We're not taking a taxi because they're way too expensive. You can't wear that watch in a bus. <laughs> you can't wear this watch in a bus. <laughs> I'm telling you. Like you they, you, they you, check up even as right. other, you couldn't wear his other watches on a bus. They check up on you every once in a while. Yeah, yeah. Someone's gonna look and be like. You shouldn't be on this bus, bro. No, nah, like I'm, no. He's talking about like the watch, the authorized dealer. They call every once in a while. Mm-hmm. Like you been on a bus, bro. Yeah, you can smell it on you. Yeah, common, you go in there. They're like common people. Been, yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. So that's not. Yeah, if you have not, both of us and we had just got off a bus, they'll walk us right out of there. Cut your arm off. Yeah, man. Just take the. Whole, You're not one of us. Make sure then, you can't put a watch back on. Exactly. It. We're yep. flying first class, right? No, are, no. Nope. That's all on that. you, bro. Me in first class. That's fine. That would. It's on brand. <laughs> <laughs> My, me and you, back. Robbie and I will be on the back. We'll be yeah, business. We'll be the two people that go. Shitter's full. <laughs> so, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There's someone in the shitter. I'm, I'm, I think there might be two people in that shitter. Hold on, hold on. Hold Please on. don't come back here. No, 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 no. There's somebody in the bathroom. There's someone in the shitter. You just stay up there. I'll let you in later. I'm gonna be in a kennel with the dogs down under the. That's deck. illegal. I don't think. I think you can't do that no more. Damn it. I'll be up front flipping through their bourbon. It's just. What year is this? Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the good, o, that's the a, 05. Okay. That's, a, that's a good year. That's good. Fif- 15 years on this? Fantastic. I'll take a glass of that. <laughs> I really hope you do take first class. <laughs> I th- I, the only problem is that I think that uh, the only flight that goes direct is Allegiant, and the, the, it's like it's basically like an airplane with some it's milk air. crates in it. And yeah. It's an airplane filled with common it. people. Yeah. yeah. It's only common they people. They don't have a first class. <laughs> so for me to fly first class, I'd have to fly United and <laughs> like fly into <laughs> go, Den- yeah. Denver, which doesn't make any sense at all. It's either like $1,000 or $200. Those are, your, <laughs> those are your two options. Right. And s- like seven hours with the layovers and other bullshit. Yeah, but then you can go to like the VIP lounge of the airport. There you go. In Denver. I, used to have, I, had that, I had that for a while. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you did. You traveled a lot. I did. I did. I had that for a while. That doesn't surprise me at all. It was great. No, I paid for it. Oh. I paid for the membership. Well, I suppose if you travel that much, it'd be worth it. Yeah. Probably not. Though. It was worth it. Not it was 100% me. worth it. Not for me. You don't drink, though. That's part of the I'm difference. I'm so boring. But there was food there. Can you, there's, there's you, food you, can you the quietly VIP read in the corner? Like yeah, you could. You right, then, could. I, then I'd do it. You could. <laughs> and this was back Can I get as far away from everybody as possible? That Yep. This was back in like Wi-Fi was not... Super great. Probably. I mean, even like oh, yeah. three, four years ago, Wi-Fi in airports was terrible. And you could walk in the lounge, and then you'd get really good Wi-Fi. Oh, yeah. Nice chairs, place to read if you want to hang out. We got uh, snowed in one time in Pennsylvania, and we were in the airport so long that I was able to torrent an entire episode of Sons of Anarchy onto my uh, <laughs> Acer. That's how long yeah, I was at Jesus, the airport. how long was that? Uh, seven and a half hours. Oh. <laughs> we I was to, able to watch it on the way rough. home, though. When we went to Germany, we had... Like a eight or ten hour layover that was unplanned because our flight crew showed up drunk. Not good. So they had to wait for another crew to be cleared. 
you know, because you can only fly for so long, just like truckers. You yeah, know, you got to wait eight hours or whatever that time is before they can get on a plane. So we had to wait. Sketchy. Yeah, so we just sat in the ho- in the uh, in the airport yeah. for eight, like eight or ten hours. Oh, so it's nothing fast. you can do. No, no, they won't and give you a hotel back, until like, you have like you know we're in sixteen hour delay. We're in like Germany or something like that, and so you miss all like your- this was like two thousand, probably like two thousand. It may not even have been, may have been still the nineties. I don't even know. But like, my dad was not with us. He's supposed <laughs> to pick us up. Like, but how do you get a hold of the guy? I don't even know how my mom did that. I assume there were smoke, like smoke signals and pick carrier pigeons. Probably. I assume there was you know a payphone, but international. Cost a fortune. <laughs> yeah, but it was outrageous. <laughs> so world's changed a lot. Yeah, for sure. Bit. So the point is, national convention. That's <laughs> yes, where we'll be, we will be in there. January. Uh, let's move on and do Ad- Adam's opener presented by Factor Fabrication. Word. So uh, this week I have three little things I want to talk about. Uh, we're gonna go chronologically. Go on. The first one. Uh, a couple weeks ago we talked about the the alternator electric motor thing and uh, how we had talked about it many, many, many moons ago with Ray and Nabil. Uh, Ray apparently still puts himself through the torture of listening to this show every week. and uh, so Some people are gluttons for punishment. Yeah, I guess. And uh, he sent us an email. Ray was the one with the electric Miata. Uh, sent us an email about the fact that they had built that uh, mini bike and actually got it running. Yeah. And uh, apparently it was a little top heavy and a real wheelie machine. So it was a fun machine. A real death machine. Death machine. Which I'm all as about. As we mentioned. Yeah. And uh, he told us that if we were, you know, so inclined, the makerspace had a significant lack of crazy electric car projects. And he would love. Why would he enable that? <laughs> he would love. <laughs> but he also recommended that uh, you figure out, even if you do the alternator, that you figure out how to put sensors on it and um, run a censored controller rather than the sensorless controller like we had talked about. I think that that was part of like, you know, motor ramp up for takeoff and stuff like that, which may have been part of why it was a wheelie death machine. Wow. I would be open to doing this at, uh, yeah. I was going to say summer, but summer will be busy. No. If we're going to do it, we should probably do it next week type deal. That's probably not going to work. No, it won't. (laughs) (laughs) But you know what I mean? Let's just keep that in our back pocket. Yeah. Maybe we'll get a lull in March. Yeah, like a spring break. Like the, the makerspace is a cool thing that I, like feel like I want to be a part of, but well, just, we should. I don't know. We should when I go would. look at it. Absolutely, it's a yeah. space in Des Moines where people that do projects and things can come hang out. They they put in a, a car lift here recently. Stuff like that. Yeah, we now. should probably go over so, there at a minimum. Yeah, I agree. We I'm should. open to it. I'm open know, to checking. I know it out. more than one person who I believe is a semi-active member of that group. So, yeah, is that it for the bike that's, thing that that's, we're going to uh, part one? Okay. Um, Part two, uh, I'm happy to say that I can report on teenage choices of our terrible cars. Okay? So I have three teenagers who... Uh, Where did you find these teenagers? Where did you find uh, the teenagers, One of Adam? them is... <laughs> yeah, tell us more. Not, why do you got to make it weird? Joe, friend of the show Joe, who yep. lives in Nevada, uh, he has a 17-year-old brother. Okay. Who, despite being raised in a diehard car family, couldn't care less about cars and drives a 2010 Ford Fusion. He's practical. Uh, person number two is the 13-year-old daughter of one of my coworkers. Okay. Bob. You, you guys know Bob? I know Bob. Bob uh, has a 13-year-old? He's a young man. Well, a step. Or, oh, yes, yeah, yeah, step. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. That, that makes more sense. Yes. To be honest. But yeah. daughter. He has a yes. step. He has yes. a 13-year-old daughter. stepdaughter. That's gotcha. his daughter. That's yes. Fine. Uh, and then um, a friend of my mother-in-law has a 16-year-old. And Katie talks to her regularly. And uh, so we got her answers as well. So and, we have... Uh, they are annoyingly the same. Females, mostly. We have two females and a male. But none not- of them are car people, which I think is important in this situation. Okay. Because I said average teenagers would never pick the cars that we chose. I bet they will. And I think that average teenagers are not car people. No, and not. that's what I was trying to get. I don't know that I none of us did that. Pervade <laughs> that well enough, but that's what I was trying to get. Like an average teenager, being not a car person, would never pick a C four Corvette. That's what not I was with, trying to not get across. With that attitude, no. Okay, so what I did was I sent 
pictures and groupings. So I sent Robbie's pictures. I sent my pictures. I sent Michael's pictures. And I got answers on uh, which ones they would choose uh-huh. uh, on each of those. Okay. Um, so Joe's brother chose Robbie's IS-300. Okay. It's a nice vehicle. My Cobalt. Okay. And I don't remember. Oh, I th- the Porsche. The Porsche. Okay. So if I'm... My phone died, which makes this a little more difficult because... I want you to know that the entire that's population of the podcast... Is not wait, surprised wait, 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 wait. That's on brand for you. <laughs> it's true. It is. It's true. He lives his life a quarter percentage at a time. And then it finally died. And it, it died on the way to the PRI. It died on the way home from PRI. And it died this way. My phone's all do- dead all the time. I don't know what to tell you. It's, it's an iPhone 5. It's just a thing. Uh, but if I remember correctly, they all chose the same vehicles. Bizarre. Really? What? Yes. So I remember specifically that Joe had said that... Uh, his brother chose the Porsche because it was the cleanest and best or most well-maintained looking. I won't disagree uh, with that. I just sent him the picture that Robbie's got pulled up there. It's just a front, like, three-quarter shot of the Porsche. That's all you can see. I didn't send, like, the interior shots and all Man, that horse doesn't shit. doesn't matter. I just sent him one picture of each car. Uh, he thought that that was the most well-maintained one in the bunch. Wait, how old is he? 17. Man. It's not where I was he at. He lives a different life than <laughs> That's you That's not where I was at at 17. Uh, your, your brand is different. He said that he, different. And he chose the IS300 and the uh, Cobalt because they looked like the most practical of the choices, Ooh. which I thought was interesting because Robbie had a RAV4 and I had an HHR, and so I'm not sure where he got that reasoning. It's but my, he did say that if he had the option to choose none of them, he would because <laughs> none of them look good in the snow. No, the RAV4 oh. was two-wheel drive, wasn't it? Yeah. That was yeah. his. That yeah. was what he said about all of our choices, is that if if he had to choose those of those cars, those were the ones he would choose. But realistically, he would never buy any of those. You could put, quote, you could put winter tires, snow tires. Yeah, snow tires. They snow snow tires. tires. Man, they I maintain tires. that buying a car specifically because it is or is not good in the snow is stupid. <laughs> because if it's like, that bad, just stay home. It's a good excuse to be away yeah, from humans. Yeah, and like... At least in Iowa, like we have a really, really good road maintenance system. We do. The DOT does a phenomenal job of keeping our roads clean and clear. And like, how often do you actually drive through deep snow? It's not a thing. Um, I do when I don't shovel my driveway. But that's your own <laughs> fault, Robbie. <laughs> Can't blame that. I don't have a skid loader. Yeah, well, I get that. So the man that he paid hadn't arrived yet. That's what he said. Yeah. It's cheaper than a skid loader. So, yes, that, that is also true. So. Okay. I don't know what to glean from that. They're uh, wrong. That's, that's what we can take away. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's it's interesting to me. Nobody picked the Celica. Those were all good cars, though, out of the lists. Yeah. The Cobalt SS is so, good. So, like, Bob was very... Very careful not to let her know anything about any of those vehicles. And just choose. And not let her know why she was choosing it, which I think she thought meant that he was looking at cars for her. Oh, no. (laughs) Oh, whoops. (laughs) Don't do that. And then he told her what what it was all about at the end of it. I mean, he didn't want her, uh, because she knows, she's heard the podcast because Bob listens, so she knows that, like, this is a motorsports, like, performance-oriented thing. And so... He didn't want that decision to be influenced by that, so he didn't tell her what she was picking it for. Oh, I see. Which I appreciate, because he didn't want her to be like, oh, you pick know. Pick the sporty one. Yeah, pick the sporty one, because that's what they want me to do, because she's a teenage girl, and that's what they do, you know. Nobody picked the Miata. No one picked the or Miata. Or the Celica. Or the Celica. The Celica, I thought, Or even sure. the RAV. But I think the RAV is too old. Yeah. The RAV's probably too the old. The RAV's only cool in a quirky way when you're not a teenager, I which, think. Because when I was 16, the RAV wasn't cool to me. Yeah, the guy in the WSW or yeah, the Trans Am. Right, yeah, his his car was cool. Yeah, and I'm rolling up in my hey, my Rav Four. Sorry, it's still not cool. Just to be clear, <laughs> it's quirky. The two door ones are cool, but see, the thing is, the two door ones and the one that he owned, not the same generation of Rav. Nope. Yeah, it's a little it, confusing. I didn't realize that until Robbie like owned two the, weeks like ago. the second 
Uh, assuming that that was oh, the yeah. first gen, I think it was. Yeah, I think th- I think so. Then Robbie owned a second gen, and I think there was a third, and maybe even now a fourth. Yeah, they get they get progressively bigger. Yeah. The new one's huge. Yeah, yeah. it's like a full size SUV. Yeah, I don't like that. There's a little bit off topic, but a little bit yeah, on topic, and I was shocked, shocked at this information. I learned that the the new three series that just came out, yeah, is the same size as a 1998 seven series. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> and it has a longer wheelbase. Oh my god! It has god, a longer it's out wheelbase. Of control. That's, that's amazing. So it's so big. That, that's huge. Why? That's crazy to me. And it's called a G20, which is an infinity. <laughs> like a terrible infinity. Yeah. From I don't, back in the day. I don't know what's going on. It had here. an SR in it, I think. BMW. No. Which, that's why it's a twenty, Robbie. No. It's a two liter. I think the they were one? built yep. on the center. Uh, is that the new one? The, 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 the internet says so. I don't, yeah, I don't that know. might be it. Close enough. That's might his, be in. I mean, it looks seven series in size. It's huge. Why is it so big? It's supposed to be a little car. We don't have little cars anymore. No. Nobody buys them. It's so pretty just, amazing. Those put lifted suspension on that and a long back on the back of it, and they'll call it a crossover. Yeah. Yep. That'll be the X3. Just make it tall. So uh, the final part of this that I have, and uh, I want to... Sp- even though we could have easily lumped this in with our PRI recap, I wanted to specifically draw attention to it because it's been eating at my soul oh since we made it eating home. Eating at your soul? Yes. What's happening? Uh, so, <laughs> so Robbie was so kind as to uh, let us take his vehicle, which has a rear-mounted entertainment system. Yep. And uh, Robbie and Michael decided to make me chauffeur them home from the world's largest truck stop to our... Uh, final you drove a total of two hours no, 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 the no, whole no. trip, so that so that <laughs> Michael could finally view, yeah, the greatest car Ooh, movie of all time. I hope, I hope this is going where I think it's and going. And Michael did not, in any way, shape, or form, tell me how he felt about it. So he watched Cars finally, the yeah, first I did. one. I did the the arguably best one. Yes, let's hear it. It's great. <sighs> I think it's great. It's probably the best. Do you have no idea how like? Concerned I was. It's probably the best animated movie I've seen in like forever. Yeah. If ever. If ever. Yes. So I thought it was fantastic. Because you we were like it literally ended as we were pulling into Des Moines. It was yeah, perfect timing. And so we didn't have any time to like talk about it. Oh, I'd 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 probably watch it again. And I didn't want to like I was a little scared that you hadn't enjoyed it. No, I thought it was awesome. Oh, the, yeah, the the worst part was that he was kind of on his phone and then it was kind of like Road noise, so you can't really hear all the words. Yeah, the road noise kind of sucks. I was worried that he wasn't really picking up on the jokes, not really seeing things, like not paying attention. I was like, "No, you gotta, (laughs) you gotta go watch." I'll watch it. I'll watch it it again. Put the phone down. Thought it was great. The hose will be there later. That's aggressive. (laughs) That's aggressive. I was talking to my mother about when to bring my dog back. That is not on. How dare you, sir? How dare you? He's got a tiny dog. That's kind of on brand. I do have a small dog. <laughs> Me and John Mayer have that in common. <laughs> it's a fancy person thing. You get small oh, yeah, dogs. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the fancier you are, the smaller your dog. That's Everybody knows for that. sure a true story. Paris Hilton, tiny dog. Which is weird because I have like a mediumly small dog. Yeah, a big dog. But I'm not. That's a not fancy. your dog. You're That's a cat fair. person. That's fair. I like cats. So anyway, I was really nervous that you didn't like cars. Well, how did, how did that compare to the movie that we watched? To the oh, truck Jesus stop originally Christ. while I was driving. Yeah, we watched Tokyo Drift. It <laughs> was the like the there. best movie theater I've ever been in. It was Robbie's uh, Avalanche. I forgot that Tokyo Drift actually isn't that bad. It's a great I movie. I thought it was terrible. It's a great movie. But I wanted to watch it again because I thought it was terrible. And then I was like, wait, this movie isn't that bad. Kid still definitely doesn't look like he's in high school. He looks like he's 45. But we, he, look, we learned he's up. He was 26. Wasn't it? 24. 24, something like, like that. He was not that Mid-20s. old. Yeah, not that old in the movie. He looks old. Yeah. He looks exactly the same age now. He looks looks older than us back then. Right. That's weird. Yeah, he looks about 32. Uh Uh-huh. But now he is like... 35. Yeah. But he looks the same still. 35. So, Hmm. great movie. That was great. Really enjoyed that as well. (laughs) That was really funny because I'm driving and like something's about to happen and I'd like point to the screen and say... What's about to happen? Say it, Robbie. Just say it. Or like during the scene where they're walking to the back of the room and I go like this, lesbians. <laughs> and then like immediately they come around the corner. There they are. <laughs> there I was amazed. Lesbians. Somebody's Good watched movie. this movie way, 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 way too many when times. When it first came out? Absolutely. I fully admit that I watched that way too many times. Yeah. The last time I watched it was in a hotel room in London. 
So, wow, that'll tell yeah, you. But you haven't been to London in a while. I haven't been to London in a while, and you know you're watching it between commercials, so it's not like you're getting you're oh, not getting the full experience. Oh, that doesn't yeah. count at all. That's so fun, but yeah, it was kind of kind of nice having that something to break up the trip a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the movie. Why well, having a movie really helps. Even if you're not watching it, just listening to it. It's, yeah, it's not even that bad of an hour, drive, hour and a half goes by real quick. Yeah. So, PRI, or I suppose we should wrap this up first, huh? Yeah, it's Presented by Factor Fabrication. Get your uh, stair railing and stair needs from Booney. Fireplace. No, he's not stuff. doing fireplaces. He just does railings, that's, he just, as far as I know. Uh, there's a picture of a fireplace on his website. So he did something to the I think that's on brand for him, though. This, you know website, I mean? this website only has things sure. done. It's no, it's about it's it's about creating a lifestyle and and see see look it's it's all the same aesthetic. Yeah, he it's made like a these. Pinterest thing. He that made... is amazing. What is that? <laughs> it's it's a uh, go back to that other photo. It's a uh, up close. It's like oh a my god, Pinterest thing. He says it's it's like a railing and like a. It looks like a branch without it, leaves it, on it. Yeah, exactly. That's what it looks like. But it's made out of uh, like holy crap, quarter inch tubing, or not tubing, uh, bar stock. Yeah, metal. That would take forever. Yeah, probably. He's super talented. You should get this uh, tree branch looking railing. You're trying to create house. a Pinterest lifestyle in your house. You I should mean, call who Booney. Isn't? Who isn't? Right. If you're trying to shoot for better homes and gardens in your house, you should call Booney. It's that level of railing. 100%. I've been in a house that was specifically built to be featured in homes and gardens. They yes. had no intention of living in it. Yes. It's a very different It's world. weird. Yes. That's strange. They spent like disgusting money importing carpet. And like I was afraid to even look at it wrong, you know? Yeah, don't step on it. Yeah. But like we were standing there one day, me and my coworker, and I like reached down and I felt it. And I was like, well, feels like carpet. It's carpet. <laughs> so it's I either three dollars a foot or thirty dollars a foot. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get it. But yeah. I know. It's a weird they thing like that nine we deal shower with. Here. Heads. That is nice. In the shower. That is nice. None of it worked, though. Well, I don't know. You need so much fucking water to make that work. So much water. (laughs) I saw somebody advertising like one of those 15 shower head things. I'm like, that works in nobody's house. I'll tell you right now. There's (laughs) not enough water going up to your tub to make that work. You got like a three inch pipe running through your wall, or what do you got going on there? You need a fire main to make that work. (laughs) And you won't like the water bill when you get it. You might want to live close to the water tower because you're going to need the. You're going to shut the whole neighborhood down. You're going to need that water (laughs) pressure. Okay, should we do PRI now? Let's do What a fantastic PRI. trip. What a wild the, the trip. The best trip. I made it to PRI. The best trip we've Robbie been Robbie made it. Robbie got some people sick. No, not I didn't. Point. No, I did not. <laughs> Kevin's not feeling so hot today, interestingly That is enough. malarkey. Malarkey. Besides Robbie's diseases, my point is, what a fantastic trip with people that we knew. Yeah. People coming to hang out. We got to meet some new people. Yep. We got to see some old friends. Yes. Olin's people like flagged us down because apparently we they listen to us and probably we make them worse. I'm sorry if you've gotten any uh, shocks or struts that are bad. That would be our fault. They were listening to us. They were listening to us. Yeah, ha ha! Funny, sure. you guys are dumbasses, and, and somebody the pressed part. a button wrong, yep. and something went to the wrong address. So we apologize yeah. for that. We'll take responsibility for that. No in, refunds in the in the rare event. No refunds in the extremely rare event. I'm sure. So. That but, was cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Um, but yeah, it was cool to like have to go there and be like, oh, we have all these people that we should go see because they're our friends. Yeah, they know us. Yeah, we could go to this booth and this booth and this booth and this booth and talk to these people, and we knew them. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Changes the dynamic of the show entirely. We yeah. To, we're, yeah. Makes Last it, makes year was just important. like, a, let's just go and like- Enjoy it. Kind of figure out what PRI is because we've never been there before. We don't know what to expect. We're like- No clue. This year, we kind of had an agenda. We kind of knew what we wanted to do. We kind of knew where we needed to be. We did our press release. We did our press thing, yes. Yeah. We did press photos, even. Yeah. Amazing. I can find those. We did a power pose. We did the power pose. Oh, God. The power pose is so bad. <laughs> it was supposed to be a joke, and then <laughs> the, the lady like, from the SCCA is like, oh, we like that. Well, Michael post, was post. wearing pearls. It was a whole deal. He is wearing pearls in that shirt. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God. I was wearing pearls in the Kevin Lawrence photo as well. I know you were. But oh that was kind of more of a joke. Lawrence. Oh my God, it's oh Kevin God, Lawrence. Lawrence. <laughs> <laughs> that never got old. I know he hates me for it, but it never got old. If anybody sees Kevin Lawrence ever, just make sure to scream, oh my God, it's Kevin Lawrence. But in like a really high-pitched... Girly voice. Fangirl we voice. Tried, 
We tried to get a random dude in a bar to do it, <laughs> but unfortunately, God. Kevin heard us. Yeah, it was too loud. Conspiring. Apparently. Yeah, so we went out and had drinks with Kevin and some of the other friends. That were John. Right. And John, yeah. George. George. Yep. But then every time Kevin would walk away or go ahead of us and keep walking, I would yell back there, Oh my God, it's Kevin Lawrence! <laughs> <laughs> and then he would not, he didn't appreciate it. But somebody mad. did recognize him. Yeah, he, he did. Yeah, recognized an angry that beaver. So much, yeah, wasn't he from like Washington or something? Gave him his card. Yeah, I don't. What is it with downtown Indy and the bar names? I don't know. Didn't we go to the Angry Beaver? Yes, that's what that was called. Or the Beaver, yeah, something, something like that. Something, something, pretty sure it was yeah, the something, Angry something beaver. beaver. Pink Beaver? No, that's not right. No, no that's a different bar. No. There was, it was just there were. I don't even remember them all now. But there were a bunch of really weird names. There's something about an elephant. Yeah, it was like Tin Roof or something. That was the bar we didn't go Hot to. Hot Tin Roof? Oh, no, that was the bar. Yeah, that we was went the to, bar we where that band tin. sang for like 30 seconds and then disappeared. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was a live band for a total of I like half they got paid for that. They played like half of 1985. Yeah, that sounds good. And, and then, then they're they like, yep, that sounds good. And they got off the stage and walked away. And we're like, well. All right, good enough, I we're, guess. We're done here. This was lame to begin with. And we were going to go to Howl at the Moon, but they wanted cover. Yeah, Nobody had cash. Yeah, it was a cash. piano bar. Yep. Those are always fun. But we made Kevin Lawrence, who's from Florida, stand outside for 15 minutes before they told <laughs> us that they wouldn't let us in. <laughs> oh, unless we guy. paid him. That's probably why he's sick. Stand on cold. That's freezing. a good point. He didn't have a coat. No, he didn't. It's from Florida. He had a coat. He was no, wearing long sleeves. He, he, he had, had a coat, coat like you have a coat. It's a small jacket. He was jacket. wearing long sleeves. He was fine. No, he was freezing cold. You guys this poor guy. He was cold. He said he was cold. Well, yeah. I mean, He was miserable. He was, you could see him like huddled up. They're not used. To, the people from Florida aren't used to that. It was not yeah, that He was bad. cold when it was like 50. It was nice out. No, it, it was 30 something. It was beautiful. It was, no. He lives in Florida. That's not my fault. <laughs> I know it's not. But how much better was the fan meetup than last year? Not because of the fans, but because the food didn't suck. Oh, the food was so good. I wanted more. What? What? Nothing. Why are you looking at me like that, smart ass? <laughs> yeah, I, was, I had. <laughs> somebody gave me their pearls and I was wearing them. Yes, that happened. You're a strange man. I was mostly sober. <laughs> he was just enjoying the Yeah, atmosphere. I was having a good time. Look, me and Kevin are hanging out in the photo right there. Look at all the fun that we're having. You, yeah, you're having lots of fun. Get why him, why, you, why, why are you judging sick. me? I'm not judging. I feel the ju- Why is he judging me? It's I, Robbie. I had a nice time. You should be used to this by now. I don't judge anybody. I doubt it. That's all he does. Oh. Judgmental Robbie over there. No. He's always like you and your stupid cars. You and your stupid sports sedan, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, doesn't four make doors, any sense. Doesn't make you don't need have that. a race car, have a RAV4, blah, blah, blah. That's how he is all the time. Yeah. That is exactly how you I should am. just buy a Toyota and an LS. Yeah, absolutely. If they made an, if he could get an LS swap Toyota Tundra, like that would be... Win. I'm win. sure that's a thing. I could do that, yeah. Would that make it better? I don't think so. Arguably. I'm going to say no. I, don't, I think that might make it worse. I don't think there's anything wrong with the Toyota Tundra V8. At all. No, there's not. <laughs> Probably not. They've hashed those kinks out. Yeah, that's, you know what? To be fair, it's too impractical. He wouldn't do that. Although, because we live in a confusing world where I don't even think I'm really sure I know Robbie anymore, he might do it. Of course, it is a V8, so it's probably good enough. It's fine. It's fine. He doesn't need to. V8 all the things. Right. Doesn't matter. Oh, man. But we had like close to 20 people we there. We had 17 people. 17 people. Um, we were that annoying cr- group in the corner that the rest of the restaurant was like, I don't think we were. No, we were. I don't think we were. We were nice to our waitress. We were very nice. We were cordial very, with, we with were the very, waitress. Well, I think yeah, that there cordial. were cordial. <laughs> what? What the fuck? <laughs> More judgment from Robbie. <laughs> <laughs> what was I doing that whole night that was pissing you off, apparently? Everything? Nothing. Maybe that was the problem. <laughs> yeah, Maybe why, it was because we were talking doing to him? nothing. Yeah, why were we so... Nice to everybody. Except Robbie. <laughs> Except I guess so. Yeah, me and George over in the corner just talking to ourselves. No one talks to us. Whenever you're talking to Josh. I was. And about Kevin. Th- about things. Yeah, you bought a car off Josh. I didn't buy the car yet. <laughs> Charles was there. Yeah. Charles I, was there. I'd never even met him before. That was cool. This is very nice. Lots of folks from the SCCA. John and Hayward. Got to meet Hayward. Yeah, that we got cool. to meet Hayward. John, I mean, we haven't known, known I mean, of John as long, but John to, yep. was there. That was It nice. took me a minute because he sits down I'm like... God, he looks familiar. Hayward? No, not no. Hayward. Oh, uh, John. Because oh, he's met John. I've met John at, like at a couple times. Races. Yeah. Why didn't you talk to John at the... He was on the other side. You were just, just, he was too busy talking being, to you. No you one... go talk to I him. got up and walked around a little bit. I did, actually. I went and talked to him. He's got a swapped Versa. Doesn't make any sense at I know, all. I, was, I saw it. Does it, though? 
It made when he explained why he did it, it made sense. It's great. I love it. It was out of uh more need than anything else. Yeah. He tracked time attack races of uh, Nissan Versa. Uh-huh. That he motor swapped. Yes. Do you remember what Sentra, you, I think, wasn't it? Two is liter that what Sentra? It, is? it could be. It is a better it's a motor. two liter though, right? I think so. I remember because when we were at the last Mighty event, he was gutting his entire interior so he could make a, make a specific weight so he could be faster. Right, because he realized he had left a lot on the table yes, for the did. class he was in. Yep. Yeah, so hmm. basically an entire interior of a car sitting in the pits. And so a bunch of people just, <laughs> just, just set it on That's his Versa and started stripping it down. <laughs> yep. That's awesome. Overnight. Hey, I think he was on and off the weight, the scales a few times trying to make sure you know, he was oh, there. I keep, I keep going. That's pretty funny. Yep. But yeah, um, it was nice to see all the folks from the SCCA. There were about eight people there from the SCCA. Yeah, that was weird. Had you ever had Gio Darnold's pizza before? No. How was it? It was great. That was good stuff. I was a little sad because we didn't get to do like a crazy cheese pole like they showed. The first on the, one, the first one, kind of did. Like they showed on the back of their menu. The one that Matt grabbed was. I wanted nuts. someone to stand on our table and make a and do a giant cheese pole like we were being loud enough. The I menu. think not being that loud. We, I think we were fine. We, no, we were fine, but it's like, like it's a big group. We didn't want to get out. we didn't want to get rowdy. We didn't. Why yeah, not? We did. Let's do this. Okay. I, I, mean, I don't think we did anything wrong. No, we didn't. If we didn't make drink, a scene, like no, make we were very a scene. We were very polite with the wait staff. And yes, we never got yelled at once. Now he can say it, and, and it's fine. It's fine. I, I say, say that I was being nice to the wait people, and he gets all judgy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a double standard around here. It's bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why so? so de- why are you so defensive? I just I don't I just wish that I could get some of your approval. That's all. I could do something he right. Thirsts for, once. for your approval. Yeah. I mean, God, it's like me talking to my dad. <laughs> That's a joke. He actually approves of my life. Does he, though? Allegedly. Well, He's never I mean, said otherwise. Wasting your time sitting here every once a week. It's fine. It's it's fine. Look we, where it's gotten him. Yeah, we get to go to Vegas. We're going to Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it, got, it got me on the football field of the Indianapolis Colts. Oh, Jesus. Who cares, dude? For no reason nobody, at all. Nobody actually cares at all. Not I a cared. single person. I thought it was kind of cool. We lost Robbie. So they... They opened up the Lucas Oil Stadium this year and put a bunch of the, uh, the RVs and race trailers and stuff like that over there. Because I think in years past they've been there, but they're all outside and like nobody goes and looks at it. No, them. it's like freezing cold. Right. Why so, would you? Yeah. Yeah. So they so they put them in, and you know Michael and I are wandering through these like million dollar rigs, and you know Michael's shopping, and I'm just like dreaming or whatever, and all of a sudden Robbie's disappeared. I'm just kind of standing on the football field, yeah. checking everything out. I don't that was kind of neat being on the first. We lost him to that Ford GT. Well, yeah, of that course. Was, that's fair. Yeah, of course you did. Did you really understand what they were trying to sell there? Yeah. Did that make any sense to you? Yeah, that so just you, seemed like an overly oh, complicated taken, way to load a car. No, I 100% agree. But it basically, you drive up <clears throat> and you lock your front wheels onto this dolly and then you pull it forward until your back wheels go on through these other dollies that you strap your car onto. And you don't strap anything to the um, like the suspension or the body. You just strap down your wheels, and then you use a like a, a cable basically, and it pulls the whole vehicle yeah. into the basically like locks instead of place. winching the car into the trailer, you winch this dolly system that the car is attached to into the trailer. Yep. So you don't have you don't drive the vehicle inside the trailer, and you don't have to open the door inside the trailer. So I suppose if you have a million dollar Ford GT40. You don't have to. Well, you can't get out of the GT40 in the trailer. Period. Right. But so, so this is perfect. But doesn't for that. a winch accomplish the same thing? No, because now it's strapped down. Yeah, you just you pull it in, close the door, and leave. Uh, I guess. I don't know what it costs. They wouldn't say it, which is probably too much. Yeah. But if you're rich, if you if you, if you if have a Ford like GT40, original Ford GT, it was a you don't give a shit. Right. Like I think it was probably she call a Super Performance or something like she that. She called it a clone. Yeah, it was a clone. So it's a super performance kit car. Still expensive car. Very expensive. Yeah, car. but was, yeah, it, it was, yeah, and it was period correct. That was a crazy thing. Right hand drive. It was, yeah, it's fucking nuts. The picture they had on their their like advertisement picture was showing it loading a new Ford GT. Yep. So they they must have a GT thing, but it said uh, at the bottom of it, it said um, one mistake will, will cost you more than buying this or something along those lines. That's a different lifestyle than. I'm living. I think so, yeah. I, that car has so many mistakes on it. 
I just I you're, know. you know what it'd be uh, probably great for concourse cars. Yeah, and absolutely. I think that's their target. Like market. museum cars, yeah, stuff like that. Yeah, I where you're gonna like their target pull market. it up down the road so you can legally drive it in, sort of thing. Right, and drive it a block so right. you can drive it in through the door. So yeah, in that case, I'm speaking, sure that's a great. Speaking great of concourse cars, I want to go off subject here a little bit. Uh, I saw on the on the Facebooks today, there's somebody selling a, I think it was a seventy uh, Hemi. Um, Cuda, I believe it was a Cuda. Don't remember. It was one of those cars. Uh, so original that it still has the original fluids in it. That's not good. It's one, gone too far. One point one million dollars. It's got two thousand miles on it. I'm not an expert, but I don't know that you can even start that car. Oil that old is not good. I don't think you can start that. No, car. nothing would be good. That's just a paper brake rate. fluid. No, none of it's good. For God's sakes, don't use the brakes. No, they, but that was the that was part of the advertisement. So original, it's literally off the showroom floor. The original fluids Girl. from the factory are still in the car. It'll never get. Wait a second. It is the most original survivor on the planet. How do they know the engine's not seized? They don't. It probably is. No. Yeah, then no, it's a. It's, then in my opinion, it's worthless. One point one million dollars. Apparently, I, from reading the comments, it's half of what they were asking for it last time it came up for sale. Fair enough. And I don't know if this is the new owner or if that was a no sale. That's crazy. My thing is, you at least need to be able to drive around the block every once in a while. I think that's important. Get it a little warm. Get some get some oil inside the, right. all the cavities in the engine. Right. Stir the coolant up a little bit. Maybe do a burnout. Do a quick burnout. Yeah. You know. Change the tires. That's where I'm at on that. I'm assuming it has original tires on it. To me, it becomes a useless object if it's so original, if you're so worried about it moving. Now it's now it's not a car anymore. I think that car is, yeah, it has left the car space. It is now a piece of art. If I was a mult, if I was Bill Gates, I'd buy it. I'd take it to a man and tell him to do all the service on it and then have him bring it back to me so I could do a giant burnout in it <laughs> in the guy that used to own it, his... Driveway. driveway and then absolutely and then i would drive it sell it prop- at a loss and absolutely buy high sell low right now nah, i'd be all over jalopnik and everything so i could put take it to auction and that's probably true make you know make cool five hundred thousand dollars on it that's probably true but yeah that was the thing. that's really annoying yeah i find that extremely annoying yeah we've gone way too was, deep into it had, this i think it had every option that was another one of the things which means it has a four-speed automatic <laughs> instead of a okay. manual Great. But since, you know, that's every option, because back then those were not the standard like they are now. Right. So. That's super lame. That was a thing, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Whatever. But I really enjoyed the trailer exhibit. Trailer yeah, RV exhibit. That was noticed. one of my favorite parts. Checking out you all the really RVs. You were really into a lot yeah, of those. Yeah, I was checking it out. He was legitimately was shopping, shopping some of those. was not shopping. <laughs> I was in them. <laughs> so, like... Truck and trailer were half million dollar rigs, minimum together. There, yeah, there's some pretty insane ones there. There were there were quarter million dollar towing vehicles there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, there were several trailers that were hundred thousand yeah. or more. Yeah, which is kind of crazy when you're talking about a trailer. This thing is sick. This thing that's on the screen right now. Is this are, that, that we, was crazy? This is on the marble. I bet everything. that th- I bet that thing was close to a million bucks. Did we save our? Is it? Is that now one of our like? Save stories. Save, save stories, story, yeah. or whatever. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you, you, Michael did a real good job of doing stories on our Instagram this for this trip. So if you want to see what we're talking about a little bit, that's where they're at. There's a spider on your wall. I don't think that's true, Robbie. He's hallucinating <laughs> from the cold medicine. Holy shit, there's a spider on <laughs> Robbie just like almost fell out of his chair. To killed kill a spider. spider. Killed that spider for you, dude. <laughs> Almost died. Kept been, safe. Wow. Or you could have kept me from being Spider Man. So thanks a lot, asshole. <laughs> Do you really want that type of responsibility? Uh, no. Actually. Isn't that like your least favorite actor? It's one of my least favorite superheroes. The first one. That's one of my least favorite superheroes. Oh, though. for Let's sure. Let's not even go there because people are going to be all upset. <laughs> Captain America sucks. Oh, God. <laughs> At least it's Robbie this time. <laughs> I'm equal opportunity when it comes to superheroes. Oh, I like suck. all of them. They're all great. I know that we have at least one <laughs> listener who is a diehard Spider-Man fan. Sorry, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't but say there's anything wrong with Spider-Man. I just don't like Tobey Maguire, which I've said before. You have said that. <laughs> to be fair. Multiple times. <laughs> I don't even, like, I don't know how you can harbor such a hatred for an actor, but, like, Michael does it. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> so. 
Uh, some other cool things that we saw there. The LS swapped Sonic was great. I can't believe that, dude. It's like it was made for it. So it fits in there really well. So Josh sent me pictures of that, like the press release of it before we had gone to PRI. Uh, so it was an all it was it was a built for stage rally. It was a Sonic. Uh, it was all wheel drive and had an LS3 up front, which sounds like it'd be crammed in there. But it didn't look that bad. It's not. It's, it's not crammed. At it's all. surprisingly not crammed. We'll share some pictures this week. Obviously, it, it, yeah, it fits perfectly. It fits like better than really in the Camaro, well. right? The Trans Am. I mean, obviously, like this, a is, lot. this is wide bodied. Yeah, I mean, I don't want to discount. And it looks that like it, it. they weren't like factory shock towers and stuff like that. Yeah, but some stuff had been moved around, but it like fit clearly, in there really well, like really well. And I was impressed that they were able to fit an all-wheel drive system in there too. Yeah, it's not a big car. At no, all. I assume it uses some sort of X track all-wheel drive like motorsports setup. I don't know what they have in there, but I'm sure it's wild and crazy. That That'd would be, be the blast. greatest rally car. That'd be a great street car. It'd be great all, all the <laughs> time. Great all the time. GM should have built that. V8 Sonic. V8 all-wheel yeah, drive the Sonic. Sonic SS. Even just like a rear-wheel drive V8 Sonic would be awesome. Yeah, I'd be all about that. <clears throat> Anything else in particular that you guys really liked? Uh, we got to hang out at the Vibrant booth again, as if we're one of the regular people that gets to hang out at places like the Vibrant booth. That was yeah. nice. Art and Aaron are always very welcoming. Yeah. I don't know. There's just so much there that I don't even... And we were moving around so quickly. I can have a hard time like really just zoning in on one thing that really impressed me. True. We got to take a... Or I got to take a little bit of a peek at the Can Jam Motorsports uh, Time Attack Subaru. Uh, the part that I really wanted to look at the car was uh, the back end of the car, and there were some people crowded around it the, every time that I had walked by the car, so I never got a chance to. But I did get a chance. They had uh, they had the car up on jack stands and had the wheels off on one side, so you got I got to like look in um, the wheel wells, and they have some really wild stuff going on off the back end of their front splitter and uh, transitioning air into their into the wheel well yep. with some like splitter diffusers and stuff like that. Some wild stuff. Like that's a, but yeah, that's probably the most professionally ran time attack team in North America. Probably I would say like right. that car spent time in wind tunnels and lots and of time in wind tunnels. Like it's, I mean, it's, it's the bee's knees and it really shows that car Looks more normal than a lot of time attack cars, but is ungodly fast. And it's really wild to watch in car video. What's that, what's that car called? Uh, Can Jam Motorsports is the company. It's a black Subaru. Um, yeah, it's it's a deal. It was there last year as well. Um, I was kind of hoping that I could oh, recognize some yeah. of the differences between last year and this year, but I didn't get that much time with it this year or last year, and so I wasn't really yeah, quite it's, sure. It's because it's carbon fiber everywhere. everywhere. The doors are carbon fiber, yeah. and they just kind of come off off yeah, two bolts. Yeah, they just lift up, up off the pins and stuff. So, yeah, it's, 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 it's a, a wild second, deal. Which car. Yeah. This isn't the picture of it from this year. No, that's last that's year's last year's, setup. and they've changed it since then. Yeah. But they made it faster. That, and that car was fun to see. I enjoyed seeing that. Um, another thing that I thought was cool to see, one of the things, very first things we saw when we uh, got in there yesterday, or the very first day, was um, the four-liter, four-cylinder billet block that they call Thor that was used in the uh, RP968 time attack car that won World Time Attack Finals this year, or World Time Attack Championship. Uh, it's an all-billet block, kind of, based off the Porsche four cylinder that was ran in like the nine six eight and the nine two four and stuff like that. But it's still like a billet motor, you know, and and uh a four liter four cylinder it's quite a deal. It's huge. It's huge. It's and, a lot of displacement. Um it's probably the company that built it, they they kind of built it and they advertise it as like a a motor that you can put in whatever, you know, it's not, yeah, it's built based kind of around the Porsche. Right. But, uh, 
you know, they advertise it as like if you want to buy this motor to go some to do something that requires a motor that has like a, a above and beyond what normal motors would have capabilities in not only reliability and endurance, but also horsepower. Like this is where you need to start. You know, it'll make 1,500, 2,000 horsepower and you can, you know, you can do whatever you need to do with it. It's That's fine. Absolutely insane. I was surprised at how many billet engines there billet were. Billet blocks were billet the thing was, this year. Yes. I thought that 3D printing things was going to be the thing this year. Didn't it a, was billet blocks. Didn't see a single 3D printer. Lots part. of different manufacturers of billet blocks too. Yeah. Every single drag car you walk by in there had a ProLine billet engine in it. Yes. Wild, wild stuff. Lots of billet 2Js. I saw a billet K series or something, and a billet Honda of some level. Uh, head, I think it was, or I don't even remember now. Four Piston had released that. Um, yeah, they were everywhere. Wild stuff. Billet is the thing right now. Intake manifolds. Yeah. Yep. Blocks. Billet. Heads. Billet. Everything. Everything. There were quite a bit more drifty things there than last year. Yep. Uh, Josh Robinson's uh, Formula Drift car was there. So that was the pretty Ute. sick. The Ute. And uh, if you look carefully inside the engine bay, there's some sort of plate in there that says Drink Foster's Premium Australian Lager. I think that that's like a block off plate for like the AC or something like that. Yeah. Or the, yeah. I'm, I'm or thinking the, the, that the, the, somebody put that in there without him knowing initially, but I'm, he's not taking it off. Right. He's like, yeah, I'll roll with it. It's funny. It's fine. But pretty cool. It's cool to see that charger on there. Yeah. It's a. Uh, there's a lot hacked out of the front end of that car. Yeah, that's common for Formula Drift I'm cars sure now. There's not much car left to them. They're just kind of a yeah, tube like, frame. Yeah the, yeah, the front bumper is just there for looks. It's not really. Yeah, you it's could held on by, could, by two zip ties. Yep. You could just shove the front fender and the front bumper over if you really wanted to. Yeah, which, which is, is what you see when they get in crashes. Which is they why they fall off, flying like off. Yeah. Right, but they're also easy to replace. That's very kind true. Of what it's designed to do. Carry a lot of spares. Yep, it's designed to fall off because it probably damages it less. Yeah. So I thought that was cool. The four eight eight special or whatever it is, the the race car. Oh, uh, uh, the Blanc Pan. It's Blanc Pan and um, Hubler. 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 I can't remember what the what the racing ones are called. I don't think they call them scuds anymore. No, that they were specials and challenges it. and blah, blah, blah. And Maybe I don't keep up with it. They change yeah. it every time they change the series yeah. of car. Become something uh, else. So that car cool. had the wildest rear diffuser setup I've seen in a while. That was really cool to like get up close and personal with a car that you know has really spent some time in a wind tunnel. Yeah, overall just a really striking vehicle. Yeah. Obviously you can tell there's a lot of R and D that went into it, yeah, like that. That sort of thing kind of permeates through the car because you start seeing a lot of interesting features that you don't see of some of the other, yeah, home built. The way they build their cars. splitter and stuff like that, where it's higher in the middle than it is on the ends and stuff like that, so yep. it's not as uh, pitch sensitive. It's pretty wild, mm -hmm. and like they had curved strakes in their diffuser, which is pretty, pretty unique because that's uh, not an easy thing to. To manufacture and that really hasn't trickled down into more grassroots level racing. So, yeah, it's a, these are the things I notice in cars yeah. now. <laughs> well, that was funny. This little kid comes running up and he's like, so pumped. About he was so car. pumped. He's trying to tell his parents like, you know, it's a little Ferrari. And I'm like, I'm like, I want to correct you, but just let it. He's just it's, it's cool. And then he, then he and he runs over to the people that are all sitting around that table. You know. The, I, yeah, think, I, I think Michael was sitting there for a while. But yeah, what was I doing there? Sitting there talking about watches with these people. Probably. And they're all talk sitting to some people. Yeah, these guys are all sitting there, and this kid's all excited. He's like, you know, the parents are like, ask if you can see inside it, or like open the door, or whatever. And they're like, no. Really? Really? The dude got in it when I was standing there. The kid, they did not let the kid get in. Why? They were, they were like, bros. Nope. They, dude, he, he didn't even stand up from his chair to go tell him oh, about what the car. A douche. I was, I was about the time I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna open the door for the kid. I'm gonna go over here. That's yeah, no rough. shit. I, 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 That's super I, lame, dude. I should have opened the door. Federico's uh, head, head his crew chief, yep. when we were at Formula Drift, I totally forgot to tell this story, but we're sitting there, standing there talking to him. He's like, dude, go, get in the car. Like, go, ahead, like, check yeah, shit out. Like, get in there, man. He's like, he's like, oh, especially here, kids. Get underneath here and look at this. And he, like, had me, like, looking through, like, the engine compartment down through the wing. And, like, Federico, I guess, built all his front suspension components himself. Oh, wow. And he was walking me through, like, some he's of the stuff. really that, taking pride in his work. Yes. <laughs> 
Especially and, the kid, though. Like, yeah, come on. Yeah, you don't want to ruin like, that. This yeah. is this is your He's opportunity. Freaking hurt anything. Yeah, this is yeah, your there's, opportunity there's... to you know continue this kid's love for motorsports. Yeah, you, you let him sit in this, and he's a Ferrari fanatic the rest of his life. Yeah. About that one time he sat in that right. Ferrari race car. That's the sort of thing he'll never forget. Right. But he'll also never forget the time that he asked to, and they said... And you said no. No. That's pretty lame. Now he's going to go... He's going to... He's going to be successful. He's going to buy a Lambo. Yep. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> There's a whole company dedicated to this exact snobbery. That's exactly, why, that's exactly why it started. Hurakin's got a race... Or they make a Hurakin race car, too. So joke's on you, buddy. That's what buddy. he's going to get. So... Oh, the, the power brake um, brake coolers. The, yeah, that was, that was super that weird, was, right? Yeah. So That's that came weird. off a Dakar rally car, which makes a lot more sense Yeah, when you start to think Did about Did you see that. how thick those uh, brake coolers were? Those like, were for like 24-hour endurance racing like cars. Two-inch thick on two, each side. At least. They were crazy thick. I'm just sitting there going, God, that'd come in handy. <laughs> Don't have to change my brake pads as often. Can you imagine what that brake pad costs? Yeah, about four times is what the regular one costs. Yeah, so it lasts four times long. It's fine. For those that are just listening, it's a brake caliper that is attached to a radiator, basically. That's all it is. Yeah. I wonder how much weight that adds. I don't think it matters. Is it negligible at that point? I think that the cooling, the the enhanced cooling and, and lack of brake fade in a Dakar rally is much more important than a little bit of weight. Yeah, I suppose it is Dakar. I'm curious if they yeah. use it anywhere else. I guarantee you that's not the heaviest individual component on that car. Not even a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I'm curious how much weight plays in on that in the car does it even matter i mean i'm sure that uh, you don't, you don't it want matters your car to an be, extent yeah but, but like i don't think that that matters enough to worry about that small little cooler i mean it wasn't like it was a front inner cooler it was right you know three inches tall but there's four of them that's fair do you think they're four or do you think they're uh, like two? i bet you there's two i bet you it's only the front front and back no i'll bet you it's just the front ones oh yeah i bet they don't yeah who cares about the? Or do you even need? Do you, do you need two? Do you, you just do one, one for, all? One for do both you have a rear all? brake fade? That's not a thing, right? I don't know. Maybe if you, who knows? Maybe if you're <laughs> cool in the front, all of a sudden you get rear brake fade. That's fair. Start losing braking in yeah, the rear because yeah. your, your front possible. ones now are are, are good. Are cool. Are they're good, good to for go. A while and turns out your your rear ones suck too. Yeah, you just never. Cooked. You've just never over. You're in uncharted territory at that yeah, point. Yeah, that's fair. Never thought about it that way. No. Robbie, did I send you a picture of the chicken limo? Oh, nope, Christ. you did not. I didn't. Damn it! The chicken limo. Remember the chicken limo? It, yeah, it's a thing. Is I'm it telling really? you, there's like some pro race car driver, like retired race car driver that owns that. Don't, don't worry, I got it. Did you find a picture of yeah, it? Oh, you yeah, you Google the chicken limo and it's gonna show up. Yeah, that's the one. That was sitting outside the bar. That's a thing, man. Chicken, Somebody chickenlimo.com. Some famous race car driver owns that. Some sports car driver. I can't Take a picture remember. of it. So. I can't remember who it is though. He was on a Dinner with Racers episode, like, first season. <laughs> That's funny. So, it's a thing. Yeah, it's just, a, it's, it's like a four foot, five foot tall chicken on top of this limo. Indy seems like a fun town. I could, yeah. They had some goofy bar names. Yeah, and, all the bars seemed like they were pretty fun. And, I mean, they're kind of small. You, know, you got the chicken fun. limo and. Chicken limo. Like, I just feel like that might be a fun town. Plus, you got sport ball stuff. The the racetrack, yeah, they do have the racetrack. The museum, they yeah. got a, they got an NHRA like top fuel level drag strip there as well. Do you think there's a Duesenberg Museum? There has to be, right? I mean, there's a Duesenberg building we drove right by. I can't imagine there's not a museum there somewhere. Let's find out. I was gonna say that might be that might be fun. Check out. It was also um, it was cool seeing all those old Indy cars. I was yeah. surprised at how old some of those were, and they still had these monstrous turbos on them. Yeah, there were a couple of pictures of that, Robbie, if you're interested. The, but uh, it was it was a uh, tribute to the uh, – which family was it? I'm blanking, sorry. Unzers? The Unzers, yeah. Yeah. So they had a lot of different decades, generations of Unser race cars there. Yeah. Basically scattered all throughout the – Exhibition, which was cool. Yeah. We didn't look at it that hard, but the Duesenberg Museum is in Auburn, Indiana. Okay, that's all I got. Fair enough. There you go. But it was cool to see some of the old old race cars, and then there's that one of uh, yeah, it's a little couple cars down from the one that Robbie's looking at, where there's a gigantic diesel looking turbo. Yeah, hanging outside the car. It's fantastic. Sitting on top. Speaking of diesel things, there was a diesel engine. There was six 
Turbos. No, Six. I don't think we had a picture of that. I didn't even bother. It was so There's, swamped. It was always somebody around you it. You couldn't get a decent picture of it. I think next year if we really want to like... seems excessive. Yeah. I think next year if we really want to do this, uh, we go in there Friday. We kind of wander around and get a few things that we think are cool. And then Saturday morning before the, before the, the common folk are allowed in there, when we special media... People are able to oh, get in there. Special media people get in there two hours early. So you, then, then you <laughs> run around with the camera and snag those pictures of things that yeah. we like. Truth be told, I wasn't even thinking about it. I was no. just enjoying the show. Right. We were just trying to get there because we were coming from literally the worst hotel of all time. Oh, we do have to tell our hotel it's stories, not don't we? that bad. No, there's not really much to tell. It was just for the money, though. Dollar, dollar for value dollar was, for, ter- yeah, was that, terrible. That was it was funny horrible. to me that, uh, that they had so much <laughs> drywall repair. And then never bothered to paint any of it, and it looked like they spread it on there with a plastic fork. <laughs> Literally, like there's no other way to describe the way they applied liberal patch amounts repair to of... the holes in the drywall, right? And it was not painted. It was still nice in last year's. He had a hot tub though. Yeah. I had a great room last year. Oh. The Actually, worst bed I... I've ever slept on. Oh, I guess I, the... I only remember it being horrible. That's because you were dying. I, that that hotel I, was better. I would have chosen that hotel. I remember again. it being like a sauna. <laughs> that the, was an accident that happened. <laughs> <laughs> That's because you you were no too he. Lazy I boiled him to death. I boiled. I tried to boil him. I was incapable of walking across the room and t- changing the heater. But he's like, yeah, we'll make it hot here. Well, no, it's those stupid <laughs> VTAC things that don't have real thermostats well, on. It's, it's also like hot, cold. They uh, don't. Yeah, you go in there. They they you know because they don't want to spend any money. No, so they don't maintain temperatures in those rooms so you go in there and they're 45 degrees so you crank your heater up and then you leave yep well a normal sane person will get up and turn it down but robbie was too lazy to do it <laughs> robbie was asleep I, I did sleep through most of it <laughs> he came back and jesus was, why is it so hot in here it's fucking a million I know, degrees I'm dying. in here <laughs> i need sudafed His doors glowing red like what is that it's steaming out the bottom. yeah it was that's what it felt like when i walked in it felt like a sauna i was like oh I thought you know, maybe, like when police, I thought he was that sick. I thought he was like cold, you know, because he had the fever. No, right? I was right. just sweating. And it I was out. like, Robbie, are you okay? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> it's hot as shit in here, dude. It's so hot. <laughs> He's just sweating it out, man. I'm in a sweatshirt in bed, just like soaked. He was soaked. <laughs> He's sweating it out. It's fine. People do that. It's, yeah, it's perfectly. It's legitimate. all the toxins out of your body. Yeah. He was getting the toxins out. That's yeah. for sure. But, it's fine. Uh, it's fine. Yeah, it was. This hotel was worse than that hotel somehow, but. Whatever, we'll try to figure out something different. I think we should have stayed in the fifty-five dollar a night hotel because at least then it couldn't have been, been worse. Like, yeah, like I would hope. At least not. then you're just like, well, I mean, it I sucked, it. but it's I only spent a fifty-five night. bucks. It's fine. I'd say as long as you don't get stabbed for fifty-five dollars for that hotel. It was by the motel, airport. Whatever. It wasn't that far from the one we were at. Maybe Kevin's was better. You can ask Kevin where he stayed. Matt hung out with us. I drove a Fit. Yeah, you did drive a Fit. I fit race car. Fit. Yeah, the whore. Full on race car. Talking about the, it was the car, right? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, the car. Yeah, Absolutely. we talked about it during the round five yeah. recap episode. Uh, I didn't get to drive it very far, but it was, Yeah, you drove it to the hotel. It was all right. <clears throat> Not going to buy a spec fit? I'm uh, very sad and disappointed to say, I think that might have been the first time I've driven a manual in nearly a year. Oh, <laughs> oh no, that's not true. I drove Don's... RX, oh, he RX8 did. He, did. he drove the RX8. Yeah, that's he my looks pop, happy as my papa. Happy as a well, because I was finally driving a manual again. No, I think it was the rotary noises. Uh, <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, I, barely, I was like, because I'm so used to motors that don't rev out, so I did not drive that car correctly. Which one? The RX8. The RX8 oh, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah, shifting it's like six thousand RPM. Just yeah, whoop. yeah, <laughs> way too early. <laughs> yeah, I would have done the same thing. Is that it, Robbie? Do you have any highlights you wanted to hit? There was that Honda swap Porsche. Honda. Honda. I couldn't tell you anything about it. It was just super neat. It was in the so many case turn things. 14 distribution. Okay. Case swaps, where it's yep. at. There was a lot of case swaps. A lot of case swaps. Case swapped Fit, which we've seen a few years ago at Grid Life, uh, but did not have the boost that it has now. No. Nope. Or not a Fit, a Swift. Swift. Sorry. Right. Yep, did Swift. I say fit? You did say fit. Swift. You got fit on the brain breath because you want yeah, one. Yeah, that's what it is. If I'm going to buy a cheap, shitty car, it's going to be a Cavalier. The problem is a fit's not a shitty car. It's just a cheap car. It's just a cheap car. 
Well, I mean, I, I think that the fit and the Cavalier you could abuse are very the, similar You could abuse cars. the fit for much longer. You can abuse the Cavalier. My Cavalier was great to me, Robbie. Did nothing. Well, if it was so great, then why isn't it here right now? Because I'm an idiot. Uh, We've got over it. <laughs> Because I hate myself, Robbie. <laughs> Glutton for punishment. <laughs> I was like, you know what would be great? Buy a car I can't afford. And then have it break down all the time. Yay. No, you didn't. Yeah. Oh, well. It's a learning experience. You move on. You're so going to get another Cavalier. You're going to yeah, get another funny. Cavalier someday. It's going to be okay. I had a dream like a week ago that I bought a Cavalier and turned it into a stereo car again. True story. That's called foreshadowing. He wouldn't build another stereo car, though. Not with that attitude, but I would. Would I? No, I don't think you would. You would go to Park and Pound. Yeah, I'll go to Park and Pound. It's the worst <laughs> name for an event. I saw that on on I think your wall one time because you I said you were know. interested in one that you did. Yeah. you weren't going to go to. Well, but you our said you local, were interested in our local, our uh, local like stereo scene. They they get they get together on like Saturday mornings and their Facebook events they call them parking pounds <laughs> but it's in like it's always in like a like a public it's park like a public park which sounds really sketchy <laughs> you know what I mean it's so bad it does but it's, it's so I'm sketchy. with you dude it's, it's terrible so super sketchy. why do they do that so we talk about it it's we are good, talking it's, about it's good advertising we're advertising yes right I don't now. think that's where they're coming from though nah, that's fine if I was the police I'd be like hmm I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go check through. on this. We better investigate. I'm just gonna do a quick drive through and see what's going on here. Yeah. Suspicious. So, Mr. Porsche, how do you feel about the case swapped uh, Porsche? Oh, I love it. Okay. I thought it was great. I don't know. I'm not one of those people yet. You're not a purist. I'm not a purist. He yet. said yet. He hasn't driven one. He said yet enough to really know. I haven't had that mo. You know, the moment where you're sitting around, it's like oh. drinking champagne and talking about, you know. I'm pretty sure the Ramosas. Different wheelbase. It depends on what day it is. <laughs> Depends on, the, day, depends on the depends on the. He's not a housewife. He's not a housewife. He's not drinking you, mimosas you every day. Well, be in. You drink them in the drink morning. Drinking them in the morning. You drink Come mimosas on. in the morning. Yeah, yeah. Champagne in the Champagne evening. Champagne in the evening. Oh. Champagne's a formal drink. Yeah, uh, celebratory drink. So it's an after five up. drink. No, it's black tie. Ce- it's celebrating. Black tie. Yeah. 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 Were Were we even? Do there? you own a tie? No. You're wearing a tie on Saturday night. You have to. The SCCA it, said that you had to wear a tie. Yeah, it's it's a formal Hall of Fame banquet. She said it's a the, banquet. For the who's who. She said it's a banquet. John said you could wear jeans. She about stabbed John. <laughs> you cannot wear jeans. It's not a thing. I'm with John on this no, one. No, 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 no. We listened to what the PR lady told us to do. She's too fancy for me, though. That doesn't matter. We're trying to be part of that crowd. We are in, we are in the fold now. John's in the fold, too, and he's going to be in jeans. Nope. He's too close to the fold. He's fine. <laughs> John's been in it long enough that he gets to break rules now. We got to be. We're new. We got to toe the line. Like I said, we're going to find you a pair of pants to match the red jacket. I'm not getting a haircut. Ooh, pants shopping. I forgot that we were going to do that. We're going to go pants shopping for him at Kohl's. We're going to get him some pants. Kohl's is fine. Kohl's is fine. We're going to get you some pants. Mark Anthony makes a nice pair of pants. You guys are going to make me go broke over this damn trip. Kohl's always has sales. We're going to get him some pants. I buy my new balances. The, yeah, exactly. I bet you got Cole's cash. You could use that for your probably next do. purchase. Katie probably. Wait, does. you said you had fancy shoes, so we can. No, I hate them. Well, I have to buy new. Well, you fancy can get them at Cole's. And besides, like- you told me, and I quote, "You're gonna need to send me a picture of those. I have to approve of them." I may have said that, and yes. I already know you're not going to because they're black with rubber soles. Then no, they're not. They're not he can, I'll let him wear. Uh, it doesn't match the jacket though, and what I had planned for his pants. We can get <laughs> other jackets. I have jackets. <laughs> Maybe we should just take him to Goodwill. Yes. What size shoe do Is you he, wear? Me? Yeah. Uh, it, like, depends. Between a 9 yeah. and a 10. No, well, I'd just wear one of yours, if that's all right. Yeah, I guess bears. No, I'm bringing two pairs of shoes, because you can't mix black and brown. Well, like, don't you have an extra pair I could rock for one night? Only if you're wearing the brown ones, or here is the black ones. Not, th- not that are the correct, uh, wait, the wait, correct wait. style for that event. Wait, wait. Do you have a belt? No. <laughs> do you have? Why do you do this? We have, to get, we have to get you two belts, or at least I one belt. I don't own go- a belt. No, no, he can. He can. He I can, have. Nah, no, I'll just do what, it just, it's a stupid You don't flip. own a belt? No, I just buy pants that fit. Okay. No, you have to have a belt. Okay. No, you right, don't. Right, right, hold on, hold on. Okay. Are you wearing a belt right now? Just, yes. Of course you are. <laughs> one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Uh, we'll get, we're going to get him some pants, or we're going to take him to Goodwill and get him a different suit. Actually, you, that yeah. Actually, there's a place downtown, or Plato's Closet. They have nicer ones. Okay, great. Let's take them there. 
I the put shoe cameras thing, in those. The shoe thing yeah. we'll figure out. I have shoes. If we get him the right suit, he can wear those shoes, but he still has to send me a picture of it. I don't even, like, of all the things that you've listed here, like, getting rid of my fancy shoes that I despise was, like, the thing I was okay with. Okay, so we'll get him some different shoes. So if he refuses, are we sitting by ourselves here? Maybe. It depends on, I'll I'll see what I can do. I'll be hanging out SCC. with John over in the jeans. Yes, now we have to decide what suit I wear. Do, Without I wear a belt. do I wear my black one? Do I wear my gray one? Or do I wear my sport coat? And if I wear my sport coat, do I wear my blue one or my black one? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I might go buy do, do I another suit. I'm thinking about buying another suit. Just for this. Because it is a very it's a very big deal. I'm just Hall trying to fill out to be able to, to go fill to the out SCCA my Hall collection of, fame of suits. I'm just trying to fill it out. I have three. I do I I do love an annoying sport coat though. That's kinda on, two, that's on brand. I for actually me. have three annoying sport coats. <laughs> the green one doesn't on count. On brand's though. our new favorite thing, by the way. I'm I'm I, I seriously like I'm gonna get some stuff tailored. Like I already I got, need to get I my, need my some, blue got, suit needs to be tailored. I've got some Jesus pants Christ. that need to be hemmed. Super excited for it. <laughs> I haven't had, I've never hemmed a You live pants. a really sad There's life. There's a guy. There's a guy. You have, a, you have a suit guy? There's a guy. Does he that speak he, broken English through an Italian this accent? Guy, this guy is oh, the yeah. guy that, like, I'm pretty sure he started his business for me. But he, he oh, services God. watches, and yeah, he, he has does. a tailor. How fucking great is that, dude? <laughs> it's where it's at. Here in Des Moines? Yeah. Where's this at? Oh, God. It's uh, it's actually not that far from here. Okay, I'll bring, I can bring my suit there. Were we even in the show ten minutes before Michael had already spotted a fake Rolex? No, immediately as soon as we walked in, he told us that that guy at that booth had a fake Rolex on. <laughs> he called, like he almost called it. He's like, "That's fake, bro." <laughs> <laughs> we weren't even in the show before he was calling out real Rolex, like, bro. That guy's got a yacht mask. Yeah, 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 you guys learned something. <laughs> hey, that's so exciting. I don't know what a yacht master is. I, love but I the know yachty. it's a Rolex. Yep, I, couldn't, I didn't I couldn't, see it. I couldn't tell you because every guy in there was wearing a watch. I didn't notice it. Hell like, yeah! And you guys are making fun of watches are dumb. Blah blah blah. I'm like, there's a bright link. There's an Omega. Dumb. There's just, a Rolex. I've never, blah, blah, blah. I've never, I've never. They're not my Zin. thing. I've never said. I, never I said totally get dumb. the watch thing. I just don't have a disposable income. It's like, oh, you like car stuff. Oh, you like watches too. I like chat, chat, chat about stuff. That's cool. Blah blah blah. No, I get it. It's about networking. I totally get it. I understand. He said he's wearing a watch at SCC. Did you hear we, that? I know. We I was half it. asleep. You can't hold that. It's like being drunk. You had you had three witnesses, bro. I'm I sorry. was like being drunk. You can't hold that against Matt. Doesn't remember. Matt remembers. Nah, he was too drunk. No, nope. and half. No asleep. way. No, Matt no, remembers. Matt remembers. I don't think he does. I'll guarantee he does. He was, he had a lot to drink. No, he did not. I don't think not he, that much. Not by his standards, probably not. Why are you throwing him under the bus? Nah, he's, it's good. He can't defend himself. Jeez, <laughs> poor Matt. Yeah, no kidding. <laughs> well, Matt, if if you ask me, I didn't think he drank that much, and I think you're a fine person. Think you're under I, control I love of your life. Matt. Matt's yeah. one of my favorite people we've I'm met not, through this I'm show. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Shit Easily on you one of my favorite people. Agreed. I love Matt. I don't know why you threw him under the bus. Then not, it's fine. Trying to decide if I should give him something oh, he could enjoy wearing, or like real, I'm or something that's going to make him really uncomfortable. I'm going to be but uncomfortable I, the whole time. All right, so do you, what do you prefer, silver or gold or or leather? No. <laughs> what do you prefer? I'm not wearing anything. If he that's has to wear that red jacket, gold. I might give gold. him a it's gold gotta be watch. Gold. Yeah, yeah. But all my gold watches are gold tone. They're real cheap. That's fine. Uh, I'm not wearing an expensive <laughs> watch. I'm not doing it. I don't trust myself. Something will that's, go wrong. That's fair. Okay, so don't give him ex- don't right, give him one that you will, don't give him one that you would lose sleep over losing. That way, if he if something happens, God forbid, because I'm going to lose sleep over it either way. <laughs> yeah, he's going to it after he's, he's giving gonna, it back. He's going to have like <laughs> just whatever watch on, but he's still going to freak out because he. You could tell him it's worth a, like a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. I'll pick something. It's got to go with the. I, th- I think it's got to go pick. with the suit and the shoes and the shirt and the tie and the belt and all that stuff. So he's got to oh. work through all that. I didn't realize I had to wear a belt and a tie. I'm not even that opposed to the tie, but belts suck. No, they don't. I don't know. They like, keep your pants on. Just buy suspend- pants that fit. No. Do you wear suspenders? No. Then you need a belt. You buy pants that fit. I don't know, Robbie. <laughs> been a long time we've been making this show 
But it's been 147 episodes. I thought he was wearing a belt the whole time. Now, now you, I assumed everybody wore a belt. Now all you the know time. my my mother's struggle in life to get you to wear a belt. That's like literally been one of the most difficult things growing up. I can up. imagine your parents trying to get you to go somewhere formal as a child. No, it's just like, like because because when I was little, I was like stupid scrawny, and I had yes. no butt to hold pants up. <laughs> your pants are falling so down. My pants are always falling down, and I hate belts. I've always hated them. You couldn't do like the seat belt buckle? No. You couldn't even do that? <laughs> no, absolutely not. <sighs> And so that's we always, start a poll on the always group. been a struggle Let's for See if there's my anybody mom. else that doesn't wear a belt. That's amazing. I'm to the point where I'm going to buy one of those like handmade 100 year <sighs> warranty saddleback leather belts no. because I only want one. No. Oh, you know what? For the rest Alan of my Edmund life. makes a great belt. The not that that's not a great belt, also. I'm just saying. Okay. That they I make a fantastic for, I asked belt. for it for Christmas and I'm hoping. Did you? I'm How much hoping. is that one? $80. Okay. Yeah. Hundred dollars? Yeah, that was a control. You only you just, get, you you only need one. one. I don't even one, need any, but Robbie, I you don't just, even need the one. one. It's fine. Yeah. You just buy pants that don't fall off, and it's fine. Because you have the wallet, right? Yeah, I got the wallet. Is it wearing well? Oh yeah. Oh god, here we go with the Look at wallet. That. Yeah, because it I'm, gets better the older and more worn. It right, gets. right, right, right. Like yeah. if you throw it on the ground, it's gonna look better. Yeah. No, I'm with you. <sighs> Worth every penny. It's the last one I'll ever buy. Don't you know? That's that's kind of yeah, where I'm at. We in know. Life. We've heard. That's kind of where I'm at. In Everyone life. should know. I'm tired of buying stuff. What, yeah. <laughs> just, just buy one. And just buy one, forever. and then it's you're He's done with that. He's tired of buying stuff. He says stuff like that. They <laughs> should only buy once. Where were we? Uh, I think we were trying to wrap up this PRI conversation. Was that it for you? Oh my God! It's Kevin Lawrence. <laughs> just remember that if you guys see Kevin Lawrence, just oh my God! It's Kevin Lawrence. Especially if he doesn't know that you see him. That's, that's even, even better. better. That's, that's but then have someone put it on the gram. Yes, take a video. We need to send him a shirt. He doesn't think he's famous. He's obviously famous. He's the most famous person we were hanging he's out with. More famous than we, we told, are. Yeah, I, yeah, I know. I mean, he's not doing the SCCA national convention. We did get recognized though a couple of few, more a few than different once. times. Yeah, a few absolutely. different times. Actually, the weirdest thing for me was that not that we got recognized, which is. It's really cool and still It's never not going to be weird Yeah, it's super weird But the fact that you could Have a conversation with somebody That's like It's a big deal in the industry And then you're, you're, they're like So what do you do? I was like Oh, we do 10 times podcasts You know, you know, we interview pro drivers And, you know, we talk about cars And then they like perk up Yeah, they perk up And want to be a part of it It's like This is weird This has changed It's yeah. changed since last year I was, for I sure. was trying I was I trying to feel ex- like a douche Like, oh, I have a oh, podcast cool. Agreed I still feel like a douche I think that Podcasts have really come into their own in 2018. You know what I mean? 2019 is gonna be the year of the podcast. I completely agree. Based on, like even just like iHeartRadio doing the I, uh, podcast awards, and which the, we're not a part of, by the way. Malarkey didn't then, get invited to that. Yeah. The, well, then they're doing. They're actively pushing to use your i t or uh, iHeartRadio app for podcasts. Yep. We've been on there for a long time. Word up. Just saying, we're ahead of the game. Early adopters. Very true. Trend setters, but we're not as famous as Kevin Lawrence. No, not at all. He's been on NBC and you know all the above, and he kept saying, "I'm not famous, guys." And I was like, "Bullshit!" <laughs> What's your Instagram say? It's bigger than ours. It's famous. It literally bigger. says "famous" on it. I don't know if it does. It probably doesn't. So anyway, he's rad, dude. Yeah, because he's just a dude. I know, he's a cool dude. He's just here to hang. He's just cool all the time. I think, that's, pizza. I think that's one of the things that a lot of people don't realize about a lot of people. Yeah, they're just... Same thing with... Uh, we're just dudes. Chelsea Denofo, which is just a, a He's dude. a huge star, in my opinion. Agreed. He's just hanging out. Just a cool guy. It's like, hey, what's up? He's just it's a like, dude. Oh, okay. He doesn't realize. He doesn't know. He doesn't even know. He probably knows. He knows. He's kind of everywhere. He's, he's just kind of humble, though. Yep, definitely. Uh, don't forget to check out Ten Tenths Podcast on Instagram. Oh, God, Jesus Ten Christ. Ten Tenths Podcast on Instagram. It's our new podcast. It's our new podcast. What was, what was the theory? The concept? We were going to do... S- no, the SCCA was going to steal Ten Tenths Podcast. Right, and they were going to do uh, ten guys... In a tent. In Ten Tenths. No, ten guys maybe either surrounded by Ten Tenths or in a ten-man tent doing Reviews. a review of top ten of the top Ten Tenths. Right. Yes. Right. So yep. we stole that off. Ins- we stole the Instagram. So uh, we already got the Instagram. Right. 
This is the second year in a row we've had a PRI Instagram. Instagram. The other one doesn't count. But this one's actually got followers now for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to surpass our real podcast. It, it, it has like five or six followers. That means we're going to have to start 10 Tents Podcast. So if you're interested... Well, you're I, t- I, there's like someone who is like searching tent hashtags and they're like, oh, a tent podcast. I love podcasts. Right, that's yeah. like, th- that'll be the one thing. Is and like then they searched it and they're like... Dang it. Nobody, nobody's for some reason. There's some sort of weird thing that's happened in the ether of the universe where nobody's created a tent podcast, and we've created the only one. But there's this huge demand, so we'll have like twenty thousand followers. All I would, of a sudden, I would look, but my nothing. phone's dead. No surprise there. But if you go to look for ten tents podcast, uh, the at or, ten tents podcast, or if you notice ten tents podcast has liked one of your pictures, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's us. It's us, <laughs> and it's a picture of ten Hershey's kisses from the SCCA booth in a circle, like they're tents. They from look like tents. An aerial view. It's fine. They're teepees. That was the best oh, we could do for a picture of a tent that wasn't stealing somebody else's. Right. That's that's the best we could do. Didn't that stem from someone asking, like, if it was okay if they abbreviated us to 10 slash 10 or something like that? Because they didn't like typing out 10 tenths in the email? Tough shit. We do it now. I don't know where that came from. Also, I feel weird that someone was asking me about that because they were typing about us in an email. I missed that part. Now I'm concerned. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, now that you mention it. We're getting put on blast somewhere, I'm sure. I haven't saved... uh, Abbreviation in my phone because I'm lazy. <laughs> if I type TTP, it just fills auto, it out for it you. Auto fills. Nice. We're in, buried in some Reddit th- thread somewhere where somebody's still pissed about something I said about Bon Jovi. <laughs> that's that's all our Reddit page probably is. That's okay. All publicity is good publicity. I think so. Especially on Reddit. Yep. Shall we do some news items? I guess. So apparently, I failed at the news this week. <laughs> And uh, I forgot to put one of the articles I'd originally intended to put on there. I didn't realize that till late this afternoon, and I knew it wasn't going to bother like doing anything about it. So, so if you're mad that this show is short, Adam's fault. You Sorry. know who to find. I'll shoulder the blame. <laughs> Road America concession stand has a Michelin star. Michelin. 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 If you're American. Yeah. So. Explain this Michelin star thing to me. I had to look it up. I wasn't certain. So it's the Michelin guide. Which is the Michelin... This has nothing to do with Michelin. the tire manufacturer. Michelin. Not true. You're wrong. Okay. It's the same. Oh, really? That's why it's weird. Comes back around full circle. So is, that's a French company? Yeah. Oh, well, no wonder their tires suck. Jeez! <laughs> <laughs> Next week, sponsored by Michelin. <laughs> Gotta eat, our, eat crow, man. That'll be fine. The news presented by Nexon Tires. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Uh, so they have a... I think it's typically referred to as the red guide. Yeah, there it is. Robbie's got it pulled up there. Um, and I don't know if that one, does it say, so that's the Belgian one, I think. I, I it, doesn't just, it, doesn't it, doesn't it doesn't matter. 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 Um, but anyway, it is a, <clears throat> essentially it was started over 100 years ago as a traveler's guide. Okay. So in a period of time when travel would have been new. And you can't Google stuff. Right. Well, it, it, travel, you know, in and of itself would have been a new concept, like, Relatively oh, yeah. speaking, hopping, like, hopping in a car or a train, right? Or yes, whatever. hopping in a yeah. car and going because somewhere. Now, a, even a fifteen-mile trip back then would was be. not a thing. So, right. So, the idea here is that you know we make tires. We're going to tell you where to go eat and oh, where to we're experience. Gonna, we're gonna look at see? That. see, oh, it all multi-level ties marketing. This is some of a real. Gun. This is some real early. Uh, some real early look multi-level at those marketing. Those guys, we're not giving them enough credit, I guess. So, uh, I don't think they started. Rating American restaurants until 2005, if I understood that correctly. Is that because our food relatively sucks? Relatively new. Uh, all our food is somebody else's food. Maybe that. <laughs> <laughs> that might be fair. But for reference, um, you get one, two, or three stars. The majority okay. of places get no stars, obviously. Right. Um, and it would be a huge undertaking to rate restaurants. Like, Adam, where... Okay, you get to rate all the restaurants in the world. Adam, where are you going to start? Oh, let's do this. Bebop, Soundtown. <laughs> three stars. <laughs> Fuck yeah. So getting three stars is relatively unheard of. I mean... Yeah, that's that is the be-all, end-all right. of whatever I, it is. Yes. It's the type yep. of place that I can't I, afford to eat. I think there's only one three-star restaurant in Chicago. There's two two-stars, and then there's 23... Three, or sorry, I said that wrong. One three-star, two two-stars, and then 20-some 20, 20 
Um, one stars. One stars, yeah. Okay. Or some, some, it's very similar something like to that, that allocation, something like that. So to get three is like you're in a different level of, you're now a celebrity if you right. get three. But okay. to have one is That's still, fair. I mean, it, since there's only 20 some in, in all Chicago, Chicago that have one, that's a big deal. Yeah, it's still a big deal. Now, a, a racetrack concession stand. That's unheard of, literally. Yeah, except for this one. Which is bizarre, Which it, and that's what's cool about, for me, about food, is like there's so many different levels of food, and, and you can have the bottom level of food still be really exceptional. Like right. the cheapest, I mean, I don't, it's probably not that cheap, but... no. But it's still cheaper than a, yeah. If, it's, well, it's just a brat. If you went to Chicago and got went to a one star Michelin restaurant, it would be, <laughs> it would be. You can't say that without sounding pretentious. <laughs> it is pretentious. The whole idea is pretentious. <laughs> I guess it's kind of on brand for him though. On isn't brand. It? <laughs> on brand. It's the whole idea is pretentious though. <laughs> no, you're right. That's he, he didn't have to look any of this stuff up. He knew it off the top of his head. Notice he's like rattling off how many of them. He doesn't are in have Chicago. any. He doesn't have any notes. He just knows this. So anyway, my point is, <laughs> that's what's Are there any about. in Des Moines that even have no, a single star? No, I don't star? think they even made it this far. I think they're probably just going to like major, major majors. places and and Road doing America, their deal. Well, and Road America, the capital of Iowa. Yeah, good this, are you saying this is not a major destination? We are a capital of a whole state. A pretty our important skyline state. has two buildings in it and an umbrella. To be fair, it has more than two buildings, but they're, Five they're buildings. short. They're short buildings. That one's got like 82 stories. 82? I have no idea. 42. Okay. It's not very tall. <laughs> <laughs> it's tall, but it's not that tall. Let's calm down, Robbie. Yeah, you're getting a little carried away. Good tell you. <laughs> I don't know. It's 80. It's 40. Yeah, like, it's, yeah, building's it's, like... It's tall. Once it's past five, it's just tall. If I, had, if I had to crane my neck all the way up, it's tall. That's the same as the Sears Tower, isn't it? It's about, about, it's about the same, It's a little right? shorter. It's a little bit shorter. I've stood next to both of them. I've been on the roof of it. Sears or that one? The, this one. Oh. 801 Grand. Oh, I've never been up there. Yeah. I've never been in it. Top of Sears. Don't bother. That's at the top of Sears Tower. That's way more interesting to do that. I didn't pay to be on the top tourist. of 801 Grand. I don't think I you could pay me to be up there. I was paid to nice. be on 801 Grand. That's, that's how life should be. You should be paid to do anything. So I want to point something out, and okay. I think um, I'm going to buy some points back from Booney with this. Um your options are brought with mustard, brought with sauerkraut, brought with cheese, and my personal favorite, brought with another brought. <laughs> <laughs> and then French toast sticks, if you're vegan, like Thomas, you can, he's not vegan, I guess he's a vegetarian, but that's an option for you. Some vegan treasures. Some vegan treasures. Yep. Uh, none of those things have ketchup on them. As they should not have ketchup. Incorrect. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's okay. agreeing. All right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Ketchup, I'm surprised. Ketchup is not a thing in my world. Oh, you're right. You're, you're a bar- That's you're, right. You're, yeah. Yeah. I'll, Get that shit out of here. I'll put ketchup on I mean, it. I enjoy ketchup from time to time. Oh, no. French yeah. fries and things I'll like that. You're not supposed to put it on your brat, though. No, for sure not. On a high V brat, I will. Once I, if I'm going to put something on a brat, it's going to be like a, a that sort of pasted condiment. It's going to be barbecue sauce, probably. Whoa. That's worse. Are you kidding what? me? Thank you. You can't put barbecue what? sauce on a brat. Be, Why is that worse? Be mustard. It's like spicy barbecue mustard. Barbecue sauce is just spicy ketchup. <laughs> That's probably true. <laughs> It is. It's brown spicy ketchup. Yeah. It is. It's exactly it's not what spicy. It is. I don't like spicy things. It's, it's ketchup it. with more spices. I'm in a it. bitch about spice stuff. <laughs> yeah, but ketchup as like just ketchup is terrible. Well, yeah, you don't eat ketchup. You got to put stuff on it. It's a it's it's an additive. You put you no you don't put stuff on it. You put it on stuff. Oh well, yeah, it's not like mayonnaise in Minnesota. Kay's little brother eats it that way though. I know. It's out of control. He'll, <laughs> it's crazy with, like, how it's ketchup. Green beans. beans and shit like that. Just like literally, you give him something, he'll put ketchup on it. Oh, Tristan. <laughs> it's out of control. I can't even watch him when he eats <laughs> I know. I need to be away from him when, when he's he eating ketchup. When he eats a steak, I get so angry. <laughs> I want a well done <laughs> slather of ketchup, please. Get out of here. It's not even American. <laughs> or is it painfully American? No. <laughs> oh, it's upsetting. To be fair, he's a child at heart. He is. Yeah. It's not. Yeah. We accept him. For we, who he as, is. No, as, fine. as a 100%. child, we also yeah. did. Right. Love the kid to death, but Jesus Look. Christ. <laughs> he gets a little carried away this with ketchup. His ketchup budget is out of control. <laughs> <laughs> it has no end. <laughs> you got to go to Costco for the condiments for that family. Yeah. Um, I, so I read this article, and Robbie, did you get the same thing? Joan Piper, is he a high school student? The yes. head chef? I yeah. was very confused. Yeah, that's what I got. His, his dad was originally it, or yeah. her dad, was uh, 
I think it's her. I think it's a her as well. Her dad was the owner originally, and he passed away. And then now it's her. So yeah. she has... She has inherited a gold mine. Uh, yeah, also just her life in general being a gold mine from now on. Yes. Yeah, because she's, like she's, 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 yeah. she's a celebrity chef moving forward. Yes. She, That's amazing. I'm just they're like uh, head chef and high school student. I'm like, mm, wait a second, <laughs> that didn't add up. That doesn't to me jive. What did you do with your life, Michael? Yeah, that makes my head hurt. Like, <laughs> no, not even that, but just like those two things don't line up at it? all. It didn't make any sense. No. Nope. Well, so. the, fun, he, the funny thing was, when I was looking up the Michelin. 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 You don't pronounce Michelin. the N. Remember uh, Michelin. Michelin. We Michelin. went over Michelin. this. <laughs> Michelin. Is Michelin. That what you said? <laughs> Michelin. 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 Italian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't don't ask Robbie how to pronounce things. I'm painfully Iowan. <laughs> but uh, Gordon Ramsay got his taken away and he wept. What? Yeah, it's a big deal, man. It's not a he joke. Wept. He wept. His livelihood was taken away. I can't. I mean, it might be like millions of dollars. How did he get it taken away? By not being at the not being the cop enough. anymore. Yeah. Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. I've never had I thought he was like food. the man. Eh, Apparently I mean, not. That's relative. According to Michelin. Michelin. It's relative. I mean, you're relative to other people. Do you deserve your star? You know, has your quality gone down? Of course, he has like 47 restaurants, and how many does he actually run None. as head chef? None. That's so, you know, that's just a business thing Can't for him. Can't be bothered. It's just a business thing for him, really. I really want to. So, Grid Life has a date there. I want to try go, it. I want to go eat a brat there. Take Boonie with us. Yes. No, I don't want to eat brats with Boonie. Wow. That's aggressive. Why? Wow. Because he'll be like. Make me do things I don't want to do. No, like, no, no. Put, you eat what they present to you. I don't want to eat It's not it a thing mustard. where you put like you extra ate. condiments on it. You order what you order, and they give it to you, and you eat I'll it. We've been to multiple restaurants with Booney, and it was fine. I'll take my own cheese. There you go. That's just brought with cheese. That's an option. Yeah, it's okay. Just eat it. I'm not a sauerkraut guy. No. It's it's just not my thing. Yeah, I'm, it's not my thing. Cabbage. No, nah, no, I'm not a fan. No. Uh, Brett Moffat wins NASCAR truck championship. And then he loses his team. Turns out, How does that just because you win doesn't mean you get to keep your sponsors. Look at this guy's NASCAR mustache. That's not a NASCAR mustache. <laughs> he's he's where yeah. he's supposed to be, that's he's, for sure. Yeah, he's... he's Dale Sr. is what that is, that mustache. A, he's on brand. Yeah, that's, that's a great that's a great mustache. <laughs> it's not a hipster. He doesn't curl. Nope. It's just, no. It's just, just like 80s American man mustache. Yeah. I think everybody knows what that looks you like. You look at him and you go, what does he do? He races trucks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you think he does? He races does? trucks and he drinks beer. What do you think he does? He eats hot dogs. Ketchup. Yeah, he's not eating any of this fucking brat bullshit. <laughs> he's at a different kind of racetrack. There's no Michelin stars at those racetracks. No. So uh, he, he raced for Hattori Racing, Hattori Racing Enterprises. Yep. Um, just this year, though, right? This is a new team. I believe that was how I understood it. That was um, he seems to have... He's he got has, some bad luck. He's a good driver. But he doesn't seem to be able to keep the sponsorship money coming in. He's not marketable in some way, shape, or form. And I form. think that was not him specific, but that was kind the of the team. thing I wanted to talk about. It was like, you know, because we've talked about sponsorship at an amateur level before. Yeah, we, yeah, we had Jim yeah, And it's like, it. just because you're winning doesn't mean you're getting or keeping the sponsorship. And this proves that. Well, it's important to note that he was basically booted off the team for another guy that brought another sponsor with him. Right. Kind of did the Nicky Lauda thing where they paid to be there. Right. That's unfortunately what makes the wheels turn in racing. Yes. Someone so. has to come in with a bucket of money. And, and Brett, for some reason, doesn't have that bu- bucket of money attached to uh, it. Iowa native. He is, a, he is an he Iowan. Is. I wonder if he's uh, free to talk about. I'm sure. Yeah, he, he could just let... Well, he's not racing, he's, so he's what else un, is he He's got? unemployed right now. So. Right now, he's looking for all the publicity he yeah. can get. And Let's call our, Brett. Our we need to reach cheap. out to him. Let's call Brett. How do we get a hold of Brett? He's got a PR person, probably. I'll make a phone call, I bet. Get him up on his Instagram or something like yeah, that. Yeah, do it. Let's let's see if he wants to come on and talk about it. He's doing it right now. Let him do it. Um, But it is it is uh, an unfortunate reality, perhaps, of yeah, the type of, ra- of racing that's currently out there. That is the world we live in. I'll do it later. Yeah. <laughs> um, I don't know if there's much else to say about it. It's just really no, unfortunate. Just, He's a talented guy, obviously. It's interesting to me that, like, you would think... That the sponsor would just roll in. The, the sponsor would come in. Like, it's... My my wonderment, you, my wonderment now is that if, if 
we exist in a time where there's so many other ways to reach drivers and connect with them. If maybe he's not like a super good social media guy. Maybe we need to, do need to look right now. I'm going to look real quick and see if I can <laughs> yeah, find Yeah, just see if, like, he, yeah. does he even have a social media presence? Yeah, Brett Moffat Racing. He's just got, like, a private... Less than 8,000 followers. For the champion. For the winner of the truck series. I'm curious who else is in that series that you can compare him to. Wasn't Haley Deegan running in the trucks? She doesn't count it when it comes to social media. That's probably, yeah, who knows? You can't compare him and her fair. on social media. That's probably That's fair. not fair. Yeah, you're we right. got to have him on for sure. Fucking mustache, man! I know. This is, this is, got a mustache going on. Should be proud he wins. Of it. He wins. Should figure out where in Iowa he's from. I never did mention it in the in you the could, article. Oh, I bet you could I search his name and then white pages him. You could find his whole address. <laughs> Just show up at his house for a podcast. <laughs> Yo, bro! What's hey, up? we're here. He's sponsored by Maui Gym. <laughs> what's that? It's a gym. So, oh, uh, gym. no! High end okay. sunglasses. See, like when you oh. say when you say Maui Jim, I think like Jim, Jim, like Jim. J I M, like, like yeah. Slim Jim. Or no, something. no, no, no. Like, if, like maybe it was like some sort of meat snack. Uh, no. Okay. Fancy sunglasses. Oh, all right. It's they a, it's they sponsor some basketball tournaments in Maui. I was more interested in meat snacks. Sorry, bud. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna reach out for him to him for sure. <laughs> right, yeah, I would, I'd like to know more about camping truck series. The camping world. I want to. I want to know about his, you know, struggles. It sounds like this is a normal thing for I him. I assume he's gonna. He's gonna land on a team. I mean, you can't take the champion one year and just be like, oh nope, he's not on a team next. Year. Like, yeah, someone's yeah, gonna pick him up. Somebody's got the talent. Somebody else in that series is gonna like, oh, we're kind of struggling, and it's like, hey, he's free. Yeah, like hit one, him up. One of the better so drivers. I don't know that it happens so much in NASCAR, but a lot of times in sports car, you'll get the the gentleman driver, if you will, the guy who who's bringing the money. And then he'll get his teammate, who's like the hot shoe, yep, the actual driver. And then they, you know, your job as the hot shoe is to try and make sure that the racing experience for the rich guy is as good as it can be. So you're there as like not only as a driver, but you're also there as like a coach and stuff like that. And I don't know if that stuff sort of that sort of stuff happens in NASCAR necessarily, Maybe. but I mean that might be the angle he's forced to look at. You know, just find as long as somebody's paying for your seat. I mean. Do you I care? Think, yeah, so if you're getting that's paid, that doesn't sound like yeah. such a well, bad job. Like they, like a, you know, they say that you know, don't be an asshole. Like, yeah, yeah, you gotta have friends. If you don't have money, you you gotta you have gotta be you a gotta friendly be, guy. You gotta be friendly because you gotta be friends with the. You gotta be someone that the rich guy wants to hang out with. And I'm and I'm curious if he himself and and this might be an answer that could easily be looked up. But I wonder if he himself doesn't have any sponsors and it's all team sponsors. Yeah. So like he goes to another team, he's literally it's him, and whatever the, spot, the team already has. Whereas other guys have all of their own sponsors, and they bring the whole crew with them. I wonder if that's you know could be his downfall. I think that's talent, his talent issue is that he's you know, and I don't even know that it's because there's not a lot of names on that racing suit, just in this picture I'm seeing right now. Right. I just you know you'd think that as the the, the championship. series championship, it wouldn't be that hard. You would think it would fall into his lap at that point. But I think the problem is that this day and age, the the ability to um, to track where your advertising dollar goes is so much better in so many other places right. and, than it is in racing. And that's what drives the advertising budget is their ability to be like, okay, you know, we spend... For every dollar we spend, ten people saw it, and five of those people reacted to it right. in some way. And you can't do that on when you slap your sticker on the side of a race car. No, and well, unfortunately, you, you can actually. The world try. we live in, like most of racing sponsorships, are going to be coming from companies who have executives who like racing. Yes, it's a passion thing more than an advertising. Unfortunately, yeah. I mean, when you see how much money ABC spends on IndyCar. Yeah, and like for their employees and all that stuff. I mean, right. it's so much more than the advertising of it. Right. It's like a whole. It's part it's, of like their brand and yeah, it's a keeping part their people of what engaged. They do and, as a as a company, right? The racing isn't. It's not an advertisement. It's it's a employment perk. Yeah, well, yeah, that, and when you it's frame part it of that your way, culture. you can spend more money on it. Right, too. it's part of your company's culture. Well, we were kind of yep. talking about Adam LZ with uh, Najuku with Kevin. He's yeah. just like, yeah. That's that's having him say in Juku one time on a YouTube video is beyond valuable. 
Right. And I'm not going to get into the specifics of it, but right. just if you, you need a YouTube presence, you need a social media presence. Like we've talked about Ryan Turek. He doesn't need to win. No. He just needs to show up. Good thing too. Cause he, <laughs> Jesus, what a dick. He got robbed this year. That's true. I, yeah. That's second to last round. He got, that's fair. He got robbed. That's fair. He has. But he's not even my favorite guy, and I feel like he got robbed. You're right. But his social media presence alone yeah. will get him a sponsor. He killed it. He does, a, he he does the marketing what, he, game he well. He knows how to market himself and he, in the right he way. He came up into uh, being a well-known driver through his YouTube channel. Absolutely. And his show. Yep. So he's he got did. yeah he's got the talent he's got the marketability and he he markets himself and that's yeah. that's what you need to do in this day and age. Interestingly, yep. uh, Zach Burt pointed out to me that if Adam LZ joins Formula Drift, he will be I think the most followed driver in Formula Drift, or maybe second most. Doesn't surprise me. It's an interesting it's world just, that we live in. It's just crazy. Yeah, because like they're not drift fans. He they're was a fan a, of his, and then he was a. It makes sense. Like a BMX biker, wasn't he? Wasn't that what I he kind of? So. I think that's what he originally gained his uh, yeah, popularity from, and then kind of rolled into cars. Yeah, I don't follow him that closely, but I think that's true. So I'm sure there's someone's gonna be like, "Oh yeah, well actually, you guys are all idiots." That's fine. Which is, I'll be honest, an idiot. I've Thank never you. watched any of his stuff. I think I have a little, but not much. He's not my jam. Is that fair? I'm not is that just, kind. I enough? don't know. Maybe he is my jam. I don't know. I've just never <laughs> watched it. I'm not, ju- I'm not my, judgmental, he, so it's yeah, fine. But, but he hasn't been on my radar at all until somewhat recently because I, I didn't even know who he was. I feel like he appeals to a generation that's younger than us. Yeah, I would agree. I think that's so true. So it's kind of... That's why I like Mighty Car Mods. I think they It's kind of not do well entertaining. They're our age. He's younger than us, though, isn't he? Mm, a not much. No? No. Oh. Okay. But like the, it appeals to 13-year-olds. Unfortunately, that's the large demographic on YouTube with... Dad's credit card. Well, yeah. Well, but you're, <laughs> you're still getting, you know. Yeah, views. Obviously, he's not sales. He's not only appealing to 13 year olds because they aren't buying parts from Injuku. Right. But. Right. Whatever. It's not my jam. I would rather watch Mighty Car Mods. I love Mighty Car Mods. Which is, I feel like, way more intellectually stimulating. And they don't, they don't throw sponsors in your face. I feel like they do it for the right reasons, and I feel like sometimes maybe they should make more money doing it. Like oh, it absolutely. Would be, it would be okay for them to be more sponsored. Yeah. Not I to agree. say that I don't think that they don't make decent cash off of it. They but clearly are. Yeah, and I know they do other stuff. They have like nine YouTube channels. <laughs> yeah, now they do. It's crazy how many yeah. YouTube channels they have. It's almost frustrating. Because I want to follow all the stuff they're doing, <laughs> but they're all over the place and they're making new ones all the time and I can't keep up. Turbo Yoda's my favorite. Turbo Yoda's the best. He's band. hilarious. He's, <laughs> He's so stoic all the yeah. time. It's so funny. Yeah. Especially sure. when Moog asks some really stupid questions and he just stands there and looks at him. Great. <laughs> Did you really just say that? And Mechanical Stig, too. He's good. He's talented, I like their whole crew. Guy. Yep. They're, they're just fun. I like it. If only we had the time. Yeah, that'd be great. I, th- just, I think you know that's. I it. think what we need to do is just quit our jobs and just hope it. Just hope go. It works. Just go in because because both feet desperation first. usually is what you need. We'll go to the bank and we'll explain to them we're starting a YouTube channel. It's a thing now. It's a and thing. we have a podcast. It's a legitimate we business. A we got a foot it's in. A legitimate business, and we need half a million dollars. Yeah, for some. I don't know what we're gonna do. We'll yet. spend it on things. We'll figure out a way to spend half. I was a million thinking dollars. about this like. We've been going about this JB welded head thing all wrong. Like, because I could just buy a motor for the Omni, uh-huh. and we could put it in the Omni and just do it. It's because we were like, oh, we have to buy a car with a blown head gas. No, you have an no, we don't. We just need to buy a hundred dollar motor at a junkyard and pull the head off of it and JB weld it back on again. Not Maybe. wrong. He's right. We're doing we'll this do all wrong. We'll do that in the makerspace. Yeah. Oh, let's do this. And we'll build the thing, the bike. Or the go-kart. I kind of want to build the bike. I want to build a go-kart. Or a go-kart. I would rather have a go-kart, I think. Uh, my, my buddy Don is building a go-kart, and he's already asked when he gets done with it if we would be interested in doing like uh, some sort of YouTube video review thing with it. And I told him, yes. An electric one. I'm done. Oh. It's going to be, he thinks, that it will equate to approximately 26 horsepower. That sounds terrifying. 
And, that sounds fun. Uh, like the one, the chassis that it's built on normally comes with a 25 horsepower motor, but that all that power is way up in the rev range. <laughs> yeah, it's completely different. It's totally different. So I'm all about it. And it's going to have like real torque. Yeah, that'd be fun. Should have about a 45 minute charge. Unfortunately, it's a five hour charge time. Dang it. Mm. See, but less, 45 less minutes, you could do an autocross day in. Yeah. Yeah. Especially no if you problem. had a generator, you could hook it back up. Yeah. Hold just, just as well, you know, charge it in the middle. So. For a measly $300,000, you can buy a car that goes zero miles an hour. With does, without an engine. But Without an engine. Oh, it doesn't have an engine? Nope. The, oh, the, I totally the, missed that the, part. The, uh, the, the gas. So did Jalopnik. The, the turbine is a... Uh, Supplied. It's on loan by the British Air Force. Oh, so you, you get a three hundred thousand dollars shell. Okay, so let's explain what this is before we get too far <laughs> into it. Uh, it's a blood bloodhound hound, bloodhound supersonic car. Yeah. So the goal was that this was going to go a thousand miles an hour. It was going to be all done with British built and sourced stuff. Yep. Uh, and then they went belly up. And now they don't have any money, and no rich person has come to their aid or rescue, and so now they're selling everything. And I thought that you were buying a car with a motor. No, sir. Because I didn't do enough hashtag real journalism. Apparently. For the record, that uh, wasn't in the article. Yeah, that, that's yeah. Yeah, that turbine's worth more than three hundred thousand dollars. That's what I was. I was like, damn, this that, is that, a steal. The jet engine alone is worth more than that car. Yeah. So, yeah, no, that doesn't come with it. Now it makes a lot more sense. It's a $300, this isn't, this isn't nearly as interesting. You know what? Now Damn that I go back and think about that article, I think they referenced the engine specifically, stating that it was a Rolls Royce. They do. Which they it, talk which about it being a Rolls Which it was. Motor. Which is important to note that that's not included in the sale, or it would be, but you'd have to take it out and give it back. <clears throat> Robbie probably QC'd the nozzles for this. Like, what engine is it? I don't know. Uh, do you the really that think that they had like that information in there? Euro it was a Rolls Royce engine. Whatever. It came out of their fighter jet. Uh, their Euro fighter. Um, what engine is that, Robbie? Do you know this information? I don't, I don't, top th- I don't think we have any nozzles on that one. Then it wouldn't be British sourced. Yeah, but some of their parts might be. Yeah, the motor still is. It's still Rolls Royce. It's still a British owned company. I like how we switched it up from calling it an engine to motor to turbine to. <laughs> It's fine. <laughs> we'll just keep calling it different things. Isn't what are you that? talking about? Well, I'll swap the thing. It'll be fine. <laughs> What's the uh, faster, technical anyway. term for it? Turbine. Yeah. Well, guess. other than turbine, what would you call it? Engine, I guess. An engine? Whatever. do not matter. Is it an engine or is it a motor? Yeah. Tell me. Well, I want to know. call it a jet engine. Everybody gets all up in arms about this, it's and I think that... Gas. Motors are, to me, a, I don't know. Like, when you're talking about electric, that's an, a motor, not an engine. Agreed. But then anything else, as far as I'm concerned, it's it's dual purpose. Okay, so here's something. Take this with what a is, grain of salt because I just Googled it. Propulsion. Motor is electric. Engine is combustion. So engine. We'll go with engine. So engine, yeah. Jet engine. Yep. Turbine. It's basically a giant turbo. Okay, no. No? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Don't it's say not, that to Robbie. That's not how that works. <laughs> I've seen people make... Turbines out of turbos, though, Robbie. Basically a turbo. That's fine. That's fine. That was something else we were going to do for the YouTube channel as well. What was that? People Turbo like, into a turbine. Figure out how to make turbos into turbines, and then they make these little jet engine things. And then shit explodes. Yeah. And you've got to hope that you're like, like in your, a different county. Your compressor housing happens. starts yeah, glowing like, red, and then it just like literally melts down. And com- It'd be fine. Spontaneously yeah. just decomposes. But it's and spinning at like 12,000 RPM, and... and or more, probably way more, realistically. Right. Gas, a gas turbine driven by expanding hot gases produced by burning fuel, as in a jet engine. Okay. So gas, it's an engine. Tur- gas turbine, jet engine. There we I go. don't know why people get Not so... Not a motor. I, was, I, don't, I don't know why <laughs> people get so upset about that. corner for the day. I don't know why people get so upset about that. It's like... Motor oil? Putting gas in... Or like, a, I'll say, oh, we are going to stop and get some gas for our diesel truck. People get real upset about that one. Because if you put gas in there, yeah, but, you're going to have a but bad it's day. Just, it's just like me like what's up dude you know it's just a term like don't make it more than it is the uh, engine that's on there is the ej200 okay that's a subaru that motor one? isn't yeah, it yeah i think it's, it's a subaru a, it's a euro it's a euro, it's a euro jet motor. ej200 <laughs> please up. someone with too much money or buy this X, an ej20 swap it's on it. the xg40 rolls royce so 
I don't have any nozzles on it. That's the. That's Damn, that would have been really cool. That would have been really cool. That would have been cool if my nozzles were on this. I don't know if there's anything else to say about this. It, Bad journalism. Think, I still think that three hundred thousand dollars probably isn't. But it, they said it's going to take thirty million. Yeah. To get they, it to do anything, they needed thirty million more dollars. How do you? I guess I. That's an insane amount of money. Think that, that there was much? some serious fluff in the budget on this project. Some people were getting the, paid out. They they spent a hundred million in ten years, and they, and they they were even. They, I'm surprised. It's, it, it's got to all be on labor. Yeah, Are you, you paying pay. engineers like three hundred thousand dollars a year? Yeah, you're probably gonna run out of money. Yeah, because we got a full team. I'm, I'm not. I'm not sure how big the team is. I'm not sure who's all. It was not they a spent, small project. Okay. I mean, there they was spent a lot of money. There was tens of people employed full time for this project. That's crazy to me. And it only went two hundred ten miles an hour. I guarantee you, if they gave that to us, we could get two junkyard LSs and hook them together. Two hundred eleven. We go two hundred eleven <laughs> like third day. <laughs> For like, I'm not wrong though. Come on, I Don't feel even look like at me like that for like ten grand. <laughs> I feel like we could put a jet engine in there. Even we can make some calls. I feel like we could get a pickup truck, get the drivetrain out of it, get an eBay turbo. We just put a five three and a Chinese choo choo boy on there. We'll be off. Yeah, we we will get five hundred dollars of eBay parts. <laughs> With how aerodynamic that is, look at all that intake is huge. Tons of air for the engine and the all turbo. All the air. This we, is the we one. Could do, we could do 211. This is the vehicle that had a five liter Jag motor running the fuel pump. Yes. See, I think maybe that's where things went wrong. Right. Like somebody was like, "That this is this a good is a plan. good idea." It's like, wait, wait a second, wait a second. I don't think so. I disagree. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think that this is a really classic case of gross overspenditure on a product on a project, just for like the sake of. The project, right? Because there, there's no return on investment here. No, there's no like Jaguar didn't get any like usable information off of allowing their engine to be the drive for the fuel pump. No, maybe they got to put it in, you know, some. It's an advertising. Jag show thing, and they went, an yeah, like, uh, yeah, absolutely. Fuel, so I'm sure we made a fuel pump. I'm sure, it says Jag on the side of it. It's pretty silly. All of it is. I feel like maybe if it had been like 60% British, maybe they would have had enough money. I, yeah, I also <laughs> wonder if like maybe they're like hyper focus on making sure that every single thing came from Britain didn't Was help. the downfall. Which in I'm all sure reality, like I don't, I don't even necessarily have a problem with that. I think it's actually cool that they tried to do that. And I feel like if they'd have done that in the U.S., it would have worked. Yeah, because it's fucking America. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and people would be like, been V8 I'll support sure. that. I'll put money into it. You know, because get, get a couple VAs. Throw some NASCAR like, stickers on it. People yeah. are aggressively patriotic sometimes. It's just a thing we it do. Would, here. It would be painted red, white, and blue, and yeah. it would just be get fine. a couple V8s. You know, yeah, yeah. And we'd like push it around with Ford Raptors and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it'd be fine. But like, th- they would have found the budget then. You know, yeah, yeah, we would have got it done for thirty million. Yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> <laughs> I also think it's hilarious that they managed to do ten years and a hundred million dollars, and they can't finish the damn thing. That's got to be frustrating for the people that actually give a shit about it. Uh, I'm sure that this is a labor of love for a large number of people. Without, this is a passion. Question. Pro- this is the life, the lifetime opportunity passion project for a number of people, yep. and the, it's just getting pissed down the drain now. Yeah, it's too bad. And they're pissed because I guarantee you that the engineers that put this together could have found $30 million in that budget that they could have used somewhere else and made this thing work. I'm sure there's, I, there has to be a group of people just sit looking back going, if we would have done you know, X, XYZ. XYZ different, we would have hit 1,000 miles an hour. Especially since that's how engineers look at things. Analytically, yes. Yeah. They've got a spreadsheet. I have spreadsheets, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, I think that's it. That is it for this show. SCCA National Convention. Maybe we'll get some details. We get a little closer. We get flights figured out. People yep. want to come hang and tell them when we're going to be there. I've already had people asking. Who's asked? Uh, on the group. On the group. Oh, on the group, you mean? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought you said like people were no. texting you. Or no, something. no, no, no. Like on the group. I like, hey, I live in Vegas. I was hoping some people like some, hang out. some people from industry Des Moines people. were industry like, people. well, industry people, yes, but people from Des Moines were like, oh, we're going, you know? Oh, I haven't heard about anybody. I don't know. I yeah, do have I, I do have a, more than one friend who is listed as either interested or going on their event. Well, they better go. But 
Like, we'll come find them. Only one of those people is from Des Moines. We'll come find them, and they better we, go. We know where they are. Right. Jabe might come with us? Yeah. I hope so. He's Every time I ask him if he's going, his response is, well, what days do you guys think you're going? And then I respond, oh, we're not really sure yet. And then he's like, <laughs> he's well. Only, he's a, just tell him he only has to be there Saturday. See, the thing is, it's like, it's Jabe. He'll just show up. He'll be there. You know? Cause that's Tell what him he's he just got to be there Saturday. At noon. Like, that's all he's got to do. Yeah. He doesn't have to be there any of the rest of the time. He doesn't have to wear fancy clothes, which actually he likes wearing fancy clothes now. He's seen the light. <laughs> he's bought a couple watches. I'm not going to say that was my fault, but no, it was it definitely was totally my fault. No, it was your fault. Yeah. 100%. Yeah. I'm just here to corrupt everybody. That's that's what I'm here for. I swear to God. Bring if you hear from side. now that this is half cars, half watches, it's fine. Oh, what did I get called? The poor man's Matt Farah? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wait till I get my no, 996. No, you're not the poor man. You are poor Matt Farah. Poor Matt Farah? I think. No, that's not what he said. Didn't I he say it was, it was the, the poor man's Matt Farah? Was it? The poor man's Matt Farah or the rip-off Matt Farah? Rip-off. I yeah, rip-off might have been it, too. We're good at that. Either way. I think it's great. It's fine. I've always said he's a big fan, or I'm a big fan of his. Uh, he's influenced my life dramatically. No, that that's true. Not at all. <laughs> never said that. <laughs> I disagree with him on several so things, things. Several things, but that's fine. He did say that the S10 was surprisingly good to drive. So, I yeah. mean, he's got some. He's come back around for you. <laughs> he's got some things here and there that are, we're like, hey, look at that. I think I agree with you on. Matt, Matt Fair is fine. He's fine. He was nice to us. He was, yeah, he he was, was a very he, nice guy. He was he was nice nice. He's a very personal guy. He did that, he did that California thing where he says, nice to see you. Yeah, he just lives in a different world. You know, you world. didn't meet me before. It's he, fine. He does, to be fair, he does live in LA. Right. Or near L.A., which is a completely different world than Des Moines, Iowa. Well, that's not even... I just mean, like, he exists on a different plane than we do. Yes. Good for him. he's on another level. Good for him. friends with Joe Rogan. Maybe. He owns a Countach. He's been on the show twice. That's all that matters. He has. He owns a Countach. He has a Countach? Yes, he does. He's a Countach. maniac. He's got a red Countach. Yeah. That's pretty cool. That's what happens when you sell a Fox body for 60 grand. (laughs) It's annoying. 65 grand, 60 grand. Half That's of that, half of it went to charity, charity, but still. It's annoying. But anywho. Yeah. That's I, it. Catch us out there on Saturday. That's Saturday the 19th, I think. Come back next week for our uh, gift exchange. Oh, gift gonna exchange gonna so is going to be great. You guys, so good. You guys are going to get got. No, no, no. Right now. I'm a little, You're I'm afraid God. that this was my idea and mine's going to be the lamest. Yeah. It's probably for sure what's going to happen. It's fine. I overspent. Oh, Damn it, Robbie. Weren't we supposed to spend like $10? This is the guy who said he doesn't have any money in the banana stand to buy a race car. I'm almost offended by the fact that you overspent. I spent money on my friends. How much, what did you say the budget was? You didn't I give didn't me a budget. Give, I said cheap, which in my You're world supposed to be is gag different. gifts, like, yeah, ten, I, gifts like, like $10. less than $10. I had to make yours. What the hell was wrong with you? What? <laughs> make mine? Yep. What Wait. the fuck? See you next week. I'm so confused. <laughs> Now we're going to have to live all week with this. Some of their mails. Jesus Christ. <laughs>